Hey, how's it going, guys? Happy Tuesday. Ethereum, thank you for the sub, my dude. Appreciate that. First, I guess, what is good, Kane? What is good? How are we doing? So, trying something a bit different this week. So, we got the uh, YouTube stream going on. We got the uh, Twitch stream. And we're actually dual streaming on YouTube. We're in the... We've got a vertical stream going on in the shorts feed and we've also got a horizontal stream going on in the normal feed so sport for choice depending on what device you're using <laughs> we the people good to see reset is in four well 54 minutes because time zones suck man and uh our clocks just changed and i'm pretty i'm struggling an hour makes a big difference in this house because i'm old yeah because i'm old thanks mrs jarv for reminding me Gary, good to see you. Steez is here. Is Into the Light out today? No, these are kind of reveals for today. They, they These are things we're going to learn about today, but Into the Light is out on the 9th of April. So next week will be a juicy week for sure. Uh, but today can be a juicy day as well because we've got a lot of info to find out. What's up, Harney? Good to see you. Welcome in. Davey's here. Evening job. How was my Easter weekend? All right, man. We met out with some family, did some Easter egg hunts and stuff. Ate too much chocolate. Pretty standard. Went to the harvester for a meal. Always been pretty good. Pretty good. Wake up, Jav. I know, I was late today. That's uh, that's what you get for uh, needing to update stuff. New maps, very exciting. Very exciting. Swiney, good to see you. Wish you luck tonight against the Spuds. Oh, who are you playing, Husey? Who are you playing? It's crazy because although I dual stream on the same platform shorts and horizontal streams the chats are entirely separate so i've got twitch and youtube combined like horizontally in obs and then i've got the vertical stream on my left jason has just become a channel member what a goat why is that my alert though well we'll just we'll just have to live with it because i'm live it's too late to change anything that that Early boys. What's up, AJ? Welcome in. Welcome in. Dredgin. He's following now. Appreciate the follow. I might get notification spam, actually. <laughs> Love that. Haven't been in the stream in a while. Good to see you, Sean. Welcome back. Hope you've been safe and well, buddy. In Greece... Greece is one hour forward. May I? By the time I get the kids to sleep, genuinely, it feels ridiculously late. Like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, and we still have stuff to do just to get the house ready for the next day, really. So it's a bit much. Gonna take a bit of adjusting. Anubis is here. Craziness. Red Creeper, welcome in. Luminoxity, welcome in. Good to see you. Just joined us. Have the servers reset? They haven't, no. The servers reset in 51 minutes, but we also have a uh, a juicy stream to watch. Uh, let me just check Twitch. I don't want to. I don't want Bungie to be like, yeah, time zones are, are, are cool and all, and then we miss it. Starting soon. Was that? That was from seven days ago, right? It says I'll be notified when Bungie goes live. Remember, you will need to be in the Bungie stream to earn progress towards the emblems. Um, I am, like, pretty close. But we're getting there. Feels welcome in. I'm having audio issues. Try resetting. Everything sounds all right at my end. Let's uh, refresh one of these streams and have a little look. How's the audio for everyone else? How's the audio for everyone else? Oh, it sounds fine on my end. 
Darby and I straight into the top bins. Yo, what's good, Marks? Welcome in. Oh, yeah, it seems all right. My end, man. Just try refreshing. Oh, mate. Oh, West Ham Tottenham? Oh, bro. West Ham Tottenham today. Uh, that is a game. <laughs> that is a game, bro. Yo, Mac, welcome in over on YouTube Shorts. Radio Demon, good to see you as well. Remember JB? We do remember JB, man. Constantly buffering? Up the hammers. Don't know about that, mate. Don't know about that. Rage is now following. What a goat. Benjamin, welcome in. Resets in 60 minutes. Resets in like 58, 48. Same buffering a lot on the Twitch feed. Ah, okay. On the Twitch side. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's try and fix that then. Stream. Um, let me have a look. Twitch. I might have to change my um, my Twitch server that I'm on. I don't know how to do that while I'm live though. So winning. No. Keeps refreshing. All right, let's let's. Let's try something. Well, that'd be a thing. Um. What's going on here? Right. Refresh that. All right, so that's fine. Let's refresh the short stream real quick. Keyframes of four or less. Okay, it's then stream video output. Ah. So no, good to welcome in one of my favorite Destiny YouTubers. Give me updates from me. Oh, I appreciate that, Jonathan. Thank you, man. All right. So, I mean, that looks all right over there now. That looks all right over there now. Let me reload it on Twitch. Over there now. That looks all right over there now. Let me reload it on Twitch. Yeah, we good. Is everywhere good now? Arizona, welcome in. Michael, welcome in. Thumbs up in chat if you don't actually have any buffering anymore. All perfect. Sick. We win him. We're winning. 
Is it into the light this week? No, it's not into the light this week. Uh, but we are getting the reveals of all said items in the title this week. Uh, so that's fine. Audio is fine. Good, 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 good. Oh, what are we doing today? Def, what are we doing today, mate? We are streaming horizontally, vertically, and on Twitch. So I've got, th I've got an extra stream going today, technically. I guess. Um, but yeah, it's going good. Not too bad, not too bad. Dino, thank you for the follow, bro. Ferret boy, thank you for the follow as well. Legends. Can't wait, just please let it be the Whisper mission. I'm fairly confident it's the Whisper mission. Like in the uh, This Week in Destiny we did on Monday, there's an ornament for the Whisper called the uh, Gilded Cage, which is in the database. It's in Eververse, but hasn't been released yet. Why would you go to all the effort of making an ornament for an exotic? Like that. Zero and Whisper? Dude, if it's anything but that, I would be super disappointed, really. Really. There's no stream today. There is a stream today. Yeah, yeah. When Bun once Bungie kicks up their stream, we'll kick up. Uh, we'll, we'll jump over there. Don't you worry. Yo, Philip, welcome in. Do I think there'll be a new subclass? Um, they've already said it's only really supers. Ronnie, welcome in. I'm on a shorts feed. Good to see you. You're upset you, ne you're upset you never got this ship? Oh, mate. This is FOMO. Like, my character is borderline FOMO. Like, you got the ship. You got the uh, the Sagira Ghost. Obviously, a nice big wedge of cheese. Jarv loves a bit of cheese. <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, I did have a FOMO emblem on. There we go. The old uh, Aurora Clash emblem for the guy, um, Bungie Bounty. You think the Pantheon challenge is just going to be the Pathfinder system? Yeah, we haven't really heard anything more about that, have we? It's bunnies! What's up, Hank? Do you think they'll change anything up in the exotic mission or keep it the same? It'll be uh, exactly the same. It's an interesting prospect, that, though. Brownie, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Guys popping off on Twitch today. Really do appreciate the support there. Love your faces. As you can see, if you are on the shorts feed, we've got the old uh, channel and platform links above. So feel free to hop over and drop us a follow. It's free. We love free stuff. I've been giving giving out free stuff for years. <laughs> You want to get your shit pushed in by that robot maze again? Dude. That guy. I'm still, I'm still scarred. Honestly. Astra. Has subbed on YouTube, by the way. So thank you for that. Go put Sagiri's show in the Englave so we can get her back like Sabathun's worm. Do you think that works? Should we try that? You know, you know what it's like every time there's like an exotic mission. People turn around to you and it's like, have you shot the door with Vex? What about getting the Monte Carlo out and trying to stab it with the... You know what I mean? It's just destiny all the time. Looking for their stream? Yeah, it's not up yet. It's not up. Is Destiny 2 reset late today? Uh, for those of you in the UK, it'll be late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Later. It's an hour later now. Come on. Come on, Sagira. Come on, Conduit. Do something nice. What about these things over here? Oh, cool. oh. 
Look at the aura coming off that shit. Why have I never noticed that? That's a, that's a mad bit of attention to detail for something that means so little, really. Look at the light trails. West Ham versus Tottenham. Hope you beat Spurs. I mean, obviously, no one wants Spurs winning, do they, Hughes? Let's be honest, mate. You know what I'm saying? 6 p.m. for us UK peeps, I know. 30 tries and you still can't get vexed. That is mega unfortunate, my friend. I'm still sad about the fact that this never ended up being what it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Fuck. I heard a voice and it was Bungie talking in my ears. Timothy wants to know if he gets back on Destiny 2, will someone help him in Crota to get the Necrochasm? Any takers? We have a community Discord for, for, for things like that, especially my Discord. Are my messages not coming through? I'm just trying to keep up with three chats, bro, to be honest with you. How you doing, dude? <laughs> oh my god. Bucko, Badger, welcome in. Uh, so yeah, the stream from Bungie will be 6pm UK time. What in the world am I doing? What do you mean? What do you mean? You're on YouTube, so I assume you might be questioning why I have two streams on YouTube right now. One's horizontal, and one's for the vertical um, YouTube shorts uh, part, which is uh, an untapped resource on YouTube. So we're giving it a whirl. Try something different for a change. Lockhart, welcome in. Putman's here, trying to stick up for the Spurs fans. That's disgusting. How have you not been timed out? What's up, <laughs> Putman? How you doing, good bro? Messaged a few times, but heard nothing, sir. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I'm just... I've literally got shorts here on my left. I'm not wearing shorts. I've got YouTube shorts on my left. And then I've got a dual uh, combined kind of chat with Twitch and YouTube on my right. YouTube horizontal, that is. For some reason, when you have more than one YouTube stream, you can't combine the chats, even though they're on the same platform. So, figure that one out, chat, because I didn't. Yo, Cosmo Jones is now following on Twitch because he's a legend. Should we actually do something? Because we've got time. I'm just going to jump in here because we're close to ranking up. Why not? Do I need a Polaris for this? Probably not. Let's stick that on. I like to run with... I don't even know, bro. What am I going to run? That do. That will do. Mrs. Layers, God. Welcome in. Am I doing Tusk? Am I going to go for Tusk of the Boar? Oh, the new Iron Banner Wave? If I wanted a lime-flavoured uh, forbearance, I think that's definitely the play. Home Alone Kevin has found his new home here. Welcome in. Alongside Piggy. Banner for the wave frame tonight. Uh, we can jump into some banner. I mean, we're going to watch the stream first. Uh, and then we might jump into some bannery. Uh, the stream starts in 35 minutes. So, um, we are just big chilling for now. You got the catalyst for hard light last night? Mate, hard light's like the original, one of the original goats, isn't it, really? It's so good. Remember when hard light was meta in the PvP? Oh my god. The over penetration, the ricochet rounds. Oh my god, it was crazy. That greaser. Welcome in. How have I been? I've been good. Been good. 
enjoying Easter, working on stuff, trying to get this set up so I can stream vertically as well as horizontally. So I had to completely remake a canvas because I didn't actually have a canvas. They're just big chilling. Have you all been? Whoa, you need to chill. My goodness. Huge. Special spree. Nice. You wish they would rework hard light? I mean, even Suros isn't terrible right now. I don't think they're terrible, but... Destiny always feels like it favours hand cannons. For some reason. They even said when they were trying to choose the weapons for the Into the Light, you know, they had to make sure that half of them weren't hand cannons. That's how, like, iconic they've become in the game. When am I next in the wood? Oh, probably... I was literally there at Easter to, to pick up my mum. <laughs> Probably, I think, I think Mrs. Jarv might be there next week to drop her back. <laughs> we all are the family taxi service. I sometimes drop into uh, the local. Occasionally, if I want to get my car washed, I'll go over there. Amazingly, over where we are, putts, there's not many actual petrol station with a manned car wash. They're all kind of drive-through car washes, and we know what happens to your car when you do that. Pretty disgusting. Saint, welcome in. Anyone going to grab that sp Oh, shit, yeah. I'm going to go to Zer after this. I appreciate you reminding me, dude. They just don't feel exotic. That's fair. Right, Bungie started streaming yet? No. Into the light on its cabal intel reports massive energy spikes up ahead. That must be their stockpiles of stolen light. Your car wash at the petrol station's gone now? Fuck. How long ago? I'm pretty sure I remember seeing cars going... Dude, that has been opened, like, forever. Like, I can't remember that station without a petrol station... Uh, a car wash in it. Am I putting out a prep vid for Into the Light? I mean, I guess I could put one out this week. <laughs> What's my prep going to be about, chat? Grab those Easter eggs. Fill yourself up on some sugar. Touch some grass. Edge the lawns. Couple of months. All right, so not like actual years. That, that would have been embarrassing. How come though, bro? Because they must have done like a... They must have had some good business. They were always busy. Have a build for ad density. Mm. Have a build for dense ads. Cool, yeah, I can do that. How many weeks are we out from Final Shape? Oh. Um, we're 63 days. So divide that by seven. 
and you get your answer. Something dodgy was going on. I mean, it's the wood. I mean, <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> Damn, those pesky moths, man. <laughs> Damn, it's the word. Of course it is. When's Bungie streaming? Uh, they should be streaming very soon. We're going to keep an eye out for it. Uh, I'm going to get it up. The stream that is. You dirty people. Uh, and then I need to visit Zer to get the Hawk Moon, actually. There is that. So, depends how long this will take i don't imagine this will take particularly long it's just a strike it's not anything crazy lilo silver thank you for the uh the follow oh he's pissed whoa suppressed Yeah, he's pretty pissed, that guy. Just under seven weeks. That's not a lot, is it? Seven weeks is nothing. And when you think we got into the light, that's going to run for eight... Uh, eight weeks? Mate. When is the stream? The stream should be in 27 minutes. But they'll kick it up earlier. You know, get you in there. We try and earn the emblem and stuff. So we're going to do that. Density. <laughs> yeah, man. There's plenty of dense ads in Destiny. So definitely can, definitely can come up with some builds for them. I don't know how the mines came. Yeah, I mean, I think there's obviously going to be standout ones for each class. I feel like that makes for a good video. Out a little there, my son. Have a doom coming in thick. Stick a well down. Yo, Speaky, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What? Who does? Who? This is 2024, bro. Who does that? Who puts a bubble on top of a well? Plenty of dense ads in Primus as well. I mean, you said it, bro. You said it. Let's get the spear. And you can get the new strand wayframe uh, in Iron Banner, uh, and we'll be that be live on reset. So. So, we'll, we'll play some banner. We'll open up the squad. Come here. You can't get me. got me definitely grinding for that GL I think Iron Banner is going to be worth it man definitely going to be worth it 
Uh, so Bungie will be streaming. We're going to visit Zer, and then we're going to get ready for their stream. I need to be careful what I say, Amic. Quite clearly, the game is Bungie are listening. Always. I just can't understand why hey, I go to Commander Zavala. It may seem strange now, but we're going to go to Zer, whom is in the tower. Make a Zer video every Friday. Yeah, I still can't remember where he is. What exotic mission do I want to return? If it's anything other than Whisper and uh, Zero Hour, I think the I think some people will not be happy. We'll end up getting Harbinger and the uh, Bad Juju one. Is there another emblem for this bungee stream? Uh, yeah. Um, Echo Diamond, I think it's called. Uh, you need to watch a total of, like, is it three hours worth of stream? It's quite a lot. All right, let's go to... Oh, let's go to Zer. I, I wonder why I came to the tower. Short-term memory. Craftable exotics? Yeah, for sure. I mean, craftable outbreak is going to be pretty deadly. I mean, I'll probably take rapid hit on that, to be honest. Rapid hit on the outbreak would be nice. Make it strand so you get the nanites and threadlings. Totally not overpowered or anything. Craft a whisper with Vorpal. Yeah. Vorpal, box breathing. Fire in line. Oh, whisper with fire in line. Huh. Nice. Not enough space. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a thing. Um, Make some space then. Whisper with triple tap. Triple tap or four times? Uh, it has three in the mag, so it'd have to be triple tap, won't it? Um, what am I doing? Inventory. For real. Uh, you have to watch Bungie's one, I'm afraid. Uh, the random nerd. Welcome in. Fun fact, my old gamer tag used to be a random hero. Back in the day. Why are my things full? What's the matter with me? Whisper with rewind rounds? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty dirty, wouldn't it? Hawk Moon. I don't have the catalyst yet. Although I am bloody close to it, so there's that. What have we got here? Oh! Fucking hell. Why is that not toggle? Why, why, why is it, if I want to hide the menu and rotate the gun, why can't I do that? Have they said when the exotic missions would be released or they go into that today? They might go into that today. I'll be very surprised if they release both at the same time. I, I can kind of imagine one maybe launching the second week of the, the Into the Light and maybe one in the second half. Because um, we love time gate content chat. That's why we love Destiny. Do I have? Do I now have two streams up? Yep. Yep. One is horizontal and one is vertical. So, is is intended? To do what you say. Best ornament right there. Corrects the line of sight. Does it really? Man. Defeat targets using this to unlock the upgrade. We could probably do that. 
I'll just go to uh, Brass Bavarus, right? Easy done. Killer Neto, 420. I know that guy. He's a legend, I heard, in these parts. What's good? Hope you're doing well. Are you all enjoying the stream wherever you are? We are live on twitch.tv forward slash jarvenus. Uh, we are also live in you, the YouTube shorts shelf for vertical viewers. And we are also live on YouTube traditionally for you horizontal viewers. So depending on whether you're standing up or laying down, we got you, man. We got you. Thanks for the vertical stream. Never seen that. It's what we're all about, man. Good to see you, Squid. Welcome in, man. Destiny is one of those games, right, where it actually is not... It's actually quite difficult to get a decent... I might have to up the FAV a little bit to give uh, the vertical streamers a bit more... A bit more of the game, you know what I mean? Because if you have a low FAV... <laughs> oh, mate. They literally see the end of, your, end of the gun and that's it. <laughs> Cold Shadow. Thank you. First encounter is great for grinding catalysts. All right. Let's go to the Grasp. Not Grasp. It is Grasp. Grasp of Avarice. Which is on... JJ, welcome in. The first encounter of Vogue. Yeah, I guess they do just spawn infinitely, don't they? Jarvin, is anything to do with rhyming with uh, the uh, male anatomy? Um, I don't know, mate. I think it's it, it was just a play on the name at the time. I am ignoring you, yep. Swainy is now following. On Twitch, by the way. Is my camera fucking dying? Oh, it's fine now. It's lagging? It's lagging a little, isn't it? Ah, oh, fucking hell. One of these days, man, I'm going to have it where everything just works as intended. Looks like I'm in a Chinese Kung Fu movie. Mate. Uh, right, we're just going to try and fix the face cam real quick, chat. I'm going to deactivate it because why not? And reactivate it. Because we all know that by turning it on and off again, it suddenly works for no reason. Ugh. Looks fine now. Should be. Oh, mate. Is it because I upped up my FOV? It was fine before then. Got V sync on? What the fuck is mad with me? Weird. Seems better now without V sync. Why well, have I got two streams running on YouTube? Because one's vertical, my friend. Fucking hell, I can't even hit a door. Oh, uh, did I pick it up? I think I might have picked it up. No, we're good. We're good. Oh. 
What time's refresh? Uh, it should be in about 14 minutes. We're waiting for Bungie to start streaming, to be honest. Hopefully they haven't forgot. Just trying to finish my catalyst for Hawkmoon because I don't have it because I'm a trash player. Oh, I definitely picked that up. That's very unfortunate. Come on. This cat is freaking done. Are they live now? Sick. All right. We'll keep me updated. Oh, Kenora. You guys need to chill out a little bit, my friend. Come on. Remember when Hawkmoon was like actually good for DPS? Oh yeah, it felt good. Oh no, I die. Three, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the content creator telling everyone to keep him in the loop made you laugh. I mean, it's a team effort. <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze in kind of stuff before stuff. We all know we want the stream, really. Oh, this guy. Friggin' do let's get a little bit. Oh, mate, I miss those days as well, Adam. Portrait Jarv, what's up, Tim? I know I'm spoiling you this week. Spoiling you. Uh, let's lower this a little bit. Uh, cause... Why not? Next week we have a new place, Catalyst Grinds. Yeah, oh, that's true. Huge increases the magazine size to a crispy eight. Massive. Uh, right, we're bungee of streaming, so let's come out of this trash game uh, and bring up Bungie's stream with thirty-eight thousand viewers. Apparently they're streaming. This video's unavailable. Hmm. There we go. Let's turn it up. We good. Really hope they had a cooldown pun at Eve. Whoa! People leaving the onslaught activity? Oh, is it? Have they not confirmed one? Yeah, we'll be doing some catalyst grinding next week. Oh, show. NXP towards the emblem by looking at this page. Bring up the other Twitch. I, I'm pretty close to it. 
Okay, that's loud. Trigger, thank you for the follow. Drops and rewards. 87%. Um, alert box. Where's the volume for it? <laughs> uh, I'll leave the volume on. I'll just turn it down a little bit for now. Yo, Zoom. Thank you for the follow or the sub even on YouTube. Thank you. We do normally have other alerts, but I was setting up that custom widget for those that are watching vertically on YouTube and I set up a new theme uh, instead of adding it to an existing theme. So that's on me. But you know, you win some, you lose some. You've watched all the streams in full and you're only at 57%. That doesn't sound right. They left the stream on last week after the... Um, I imagine they'll do the same this week. So you can kind of still get progress even after they've shown everything that they're going to show. It's a bit bare, volume-wise. Atomic Rooster. Thank you for the follow as well. We are well on our way to 4K on Twitch, which is mad for me because, as you guys know, and up until recently, I haven't been too consistent on stream, but um, on Twitch anyway. We are consistently live every week on YouTube, every reset. So it's gla I'm glad that simulcasting is now a thing and we can actually just share what we do every Tuesday in more places to more faces. Hoping for a juicer today, mate. The loot got me excited last week. The time gating element we found out afterwards sucked, but then they addressed it. So that's cool. They're listening. Am I going to make a video covering the new grenade launcher for my banner? I might do. I might do. I need to get one. That's without question. So we'll play a bit of Iron Banner after this the stream today. And then we'll take it from there. They're going to keep the stream until 4.59 Eastern. I don't know what that is, but a while. What am I? 87%. Am I not getting progress? What am I? Am I not getting progress? We'll see. I'll check it again in a minute. You forgot our clocks went forward? It's a nightmare, Bandit. It genuinely is. Grim, welcome in. Over on the shorts feed. Good to see you. Aiden, welcome in. Is it late? It's not late, Ash. No, it's not late. You are on time. I haven't been on raid for a little while. There's a few in the clan that are on... I'll have to check it out, Bandit. I, 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 have, I will admit I have not been on there in a while. You are correct. So, been a busy boy. Uh, I'll check it out tonight. I'll jump on for a bit. Maybe an outlier, but the loot doesn't excite me that much. Parts of it do. Like, I do question on jury 4.0. But yeah, some of the other weapons are cool. I honestly would have liked if they could only bring back 12 weapons and that was even harder to condense it down into six. I'd just say, okay, there's six Destiny 2 classics. Here's six Destiny 1 classics. Things like Longbow Synthesis, Wormwood. You know what I mean? Some absolute belters. The LDR 500. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to have two snipers, but you catch my drift, right? Like, I don't want... Um... You know, I want a High Lord Fixer. I don't want uh, the other ones. You know what I mean? 
Did the family have fun at Easter? Every Easter, man. They're still eating through their eggs. I haven't eaten my egg. I haven't opened it yet. I've got a Rolo one. Rolo's a top tier. If you ever have a hot chocolate, I guarantee and highly recommend that you should be putting a Rolo inside that and let that thing melt. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, raid weapons was an interesting one. Like, I get it. But yeah, Kinder Eggs for the win. I've stayed clear of Kinder Eggs, but uh, yeah, apparently they're pretty good. How many versions of Hung Drew do we have now? Probably four. <laughs> Probably four. Roller with caramel sounds yummy. That's it. Caramel's all inside. It kind of just dissolves into your hot chocolate. It's super sweet. Super nice. Uh, the, the grenade launcher is kinetic, Daniel. Yeah, so it's strand. It sits in your kinetic slot. In theory, you could have that and forbearance if you were built different, uh, I guess. You gone five? You gone up five percent already? All right. On my own. I'm not getting progress. I call. I call bull on that. Connected. All good. Happy days. Give me my loot then. <laughs> Java getting salty over an emblem. Is there a special weapon at Strand or not? No. So stasis and Strand weapons will only exist in a kinetic slot. Unless they're exotic. Or, or do they, Yeah, because you can get exotic heavy weapons and stuff. Um... No, I don't think they'll do a fourth stream. April 9th is going to all be about just jumping into Into the Light. Um, but what I would expect on that note, Trix, is that we will be getting a new Final Shape gameplay uh, reveal slash Vidoc. Maybe mid-end of April. Kind of halfway through Into the Light. Like, we have to think about it, right? Yeah, having to delay Final Shape sucks. But having Into the Light is actually a great way for Bungie to use it as a really engaging marketing tool. And I have every confidence that that's exactly what they're going to use it for. And as long as player sentiment's good and everyone's happy going into the final shape, then that's the best they could hope for considering the situation they found, them they found themselves in. So... Maybe a cap. I mean, I was on 87 at the end of the uh, first stream. I'm still on 87. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's good to see y'all. Welcome to our third of three developer live streams to talk about all the cool stuff coming up with Destiny 2 Into the Light. Uh, my name's Andy. I work on the social media team here at Bungie, and we've got an awesome set of, of uh, topics to go ahead and cover today. But first things first, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and remind you guys of one clarification we made. For starters, all of the weapons in the Brave Arsenal will now be releasing on April 30th. So just as a quick reminder, all of that weapon, all those weapons will be available for you to farm over the course of Onslaught. Uh, there's many ways with which you can go about it for starters obviously you can go ahead and attune yourself to a weapon so i do want to say he has done a fantastic job over these last three live streams so you've got the opportunity clear concise uh, engaging 
Also, there's going to be the chest up by shacks as well, so you can go ahead and farm some likable shelves. <laughs> worry not, you'll have plenty of chances to dive in, grab the weapons you want, whether it be through our site's quest lines or otherwise. Uh, those opportunities will be wide open. Yeah, I thought that was me on the couch for a sec. A whole new set of topics to discuss today, uh, including some reprise exotic missions, a look at the PvP map. Bro, I am not getting progress. I am fuming. Uh, but as usual, it won't just be me talking through it. So let's go ahead and tell you about the wonderful folks I have here just to my left. Some incredible developers here at Bungie. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the gentleman here to my left. Friend of the show, one and only Mr. Tom Farnsworth, senior design lead here at Bungie. Tom, welcome back. I'm back. I keep bringing me back. I know. It's come on. You're the best. We can't. We couldn't possibly <laughs> let you go. No, I, I, of course, I'm the creator. Well, I'm watching it on my phone. Life, <laughs> we're yeah, really here to talk about all the great work the team has done and these individuals here uh, with us today. Yeah. And we're going to talk about some exotic missions, Yes. Uh, some new rewards associated with them, uh, and some PvP stuff. So let's let's dive in. Let's yeah. let's talk to everybody else here. Great stuff. We also have now sitting just next to Tom as well. We have Rob Adams, one of the art directors here at Bungie, uh, and kind of the person to help come up with the concept of Into the Light. Rob, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Excited Absolutely. to be here. Yeah, no, it's good to have you. We have a lot of fun stuff. We were talking before the show about a lot of cool stuff. We'll have plenty of fun details to dive into here in just a little bit. Uh, and of course, the one and only Willie Chang, activity designer here at Bungie. Uh, I you love doing? Andy. Good morning. I'm doing well. Uh, for the folks at home that may not be familiar with you or your work, uh, what do you do here at Bungie, if you don't mind my asking? I'm an activity designer. I've seen you uh, around. What do you even do? I worked on the Zero Hour Reprise. Excellent. Well, with that, we uh, we may as well start diving into the show at hand. We have a lot of cool stuff to start with. Uh, in addition to, like we mentioned, some awesome Reprise exotic missions, including The Whisper and Zero Hour, which will both uh, feature, pardon me, craftable versions of each weapon. But let's go ahead and start at the top with the Whisper. Uh, we've had a chance to go ahead and kind of pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and start from the Oh yeah, top. our breaks uh, right on the Rob, table. you were there when it all started. Why did Bungie make the Whisper to begin with? Well, I think in the first few months of D2, I want to say like the first three to five months, we felt like there weren't enough secrets in the game. It felt like the game was pretty well known, mm -hmm. you know, and, and kind of like discovered. Mm -hmm. And it just needed some big secret to be found by the players. And we thought that that would excite uh, our community quite a bit. Like it would, it would just go over really well. We, we hoped it would at least. Yeah. And we had all this nostalgia for the Vault of Glass and Black <laughs> Spindle. I mean, one day we were just sitting in a conference room and we're like, what if we just made another Black Spindle mission, but we made it a lot bigger, Yeah. right? Yeah. Speaking of, uh, we've got here on screen uh, kind of some, if we can call it as such, yeah. original concept art, uh -huh. you'd say, for The Whisper? Yeah, it's concept art. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about what we're uh, doing that's here? That's cool. Uh, so, well, that's actually the very first whiteboard drawing when we got all excited and we ran and found a conference room and we started, you know, drawing what this could do, yeah. what we would want to build. And really, this kind of shows. It's crazy. Some of the you magic look at that drawing. You think, formula, you "Oh know, yeah, I know that we bit." We had a, <laughs> a contract, really. That we we called it a contract, and <laughs> and this was an unspoken agreement. I'm getting progress. Us as devs Finally, and the hardcore, super engaged players. Yeah. And it really was, if you can pass a test where your mind is going to be tested, mm -hmm. your fighting, right? Yeah. Uh, is going to be tested, and you're going to be able to pass. These That's really tests, cool, right? Yeah. Your movement, your mind, your fighting. Yeah. If you can get past these tests, you're going to be rewarded with great power. Where's Noah? Yeah. And that was the contract. And so one of the other things we They're did probably have not playing here in the uh, upper left. Yeah. Is there's a little crack, and then the path continues. Yeah. And that, you know that's the red herring, and so we thought, well, rather than lead players by the nose and have a bunch of narrative and and make it really obvious what you're supposed to do. Yeah. What if they get into this mysterious place and they don't know what to do? Mm -hmm. And when they go down the path that they think is right, it's not. Yeah. You know, and they go blazing right past the actual opening. Yeah. And so we knew that that, or we, we were pretty confident that that was going to appeal to the hardcore players because once they learned the path, right. they could then bring their friends in and show them, and then we would have the videos, you yeah. know, with the walkthroughs, and it, it would just appeal to. Yeah. to As they let their friends go right. first that mm -hmm. first time to watch yeah. them fall off the yeah, edge yeah, yeah. helplessly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> also, too, is you know to kind of focus a little bit more on the art direction as well. Uh, I think to put it lightly, the the vibe in the whisper is pretty intense. Can you tell us what it was like, kind of imagining that space and bringing it to life? Yeah, well, we went, we wanted this like intense mystery vibe, right? The mystery of, I'm on I'm on IO and I found this place that I've never seen, I didn't know existed. Yeah. And where does it go, right? And that mystery, and also the feeling of dread. 
Yeah, <laughs> and so, a lot of that. Yeah, and, and it's easy to get a vibe if you listen to one type of music, for example. Right. So we were watching Stranger Things and listening to the soundtrack, and I got really into you know, building this, this traversal puzzle. It has a really consistent vibe because it was just one type of music that was listened to for the, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, speaks to my Hotline Miami fan yeah, yeah, yeah. side, honestly. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, too, is we've got uh, another picture as well of the, uh, the infamously titled Green Room as well. Um, there was a really cool anecdote you had kind of about the development process of this. What was it like bringing this kind of very iconic, I guess I'd say, Destiny Room to life? Yeah, well, this, this is funny because there was this thing that we wanted to try, right? Mm -hmm. make, it, make a room that has a trap in the center that if you mess up, you end up going down the trap and you, you get punished for it. And yeah. when you get out, you end up back in the room. And it just happens again and again and again. And there's all these different ways that you try to find your way out of this room. Right. So the test was to make a tiny version of this, like one quarter scale. And we brought it into the play test lab. Yeah. We had Cosmo and Dylan. We had a bunch of our testers and designers in there. Yeah. And I just waited, right? And I waited to, for someone to find the hidden shortcut, right? Like what would happen when they, what's gonna happen when they find that hidden shortcut? Yeah. And so the first person that found it, they just screamed and started laughing and then everybody started finding it. And based on that reaction, we knew we had something good and then it got scaled up into what you see here and back to the vibe thing again. Yeah. When this got built, all I did was listen to Black Sabbath, the first six albums, like over and over. Yeah. <laughs> so it just has that really, really consistent vibe all the way through. And that's just a, a trick that the whole yeah. team uses to get uh, a theme yep. or a vibe oh, to right, be we have, consistent. We're going to go ahead also too and start jumping the activity so we can see this uh, this vibe up close and personal Jump as well. But uh, here yeah. we are. We're we're back in BMG's the whisper gifting as well. Subs. Uh, really quickly too, off the top, um, <clears throat> Willie. When it comes to you know bringing these encounters forward, bringing them to the modern era of Destiny, what were some of the bigger challenges that you'd say you have to overcome in order to make sure that they were fitting for today's sandbox? Yeah, so sandbox-wise, players nowadays pack a lot more power than they did before. Uh, people can clear entire rooms of ads from these activities back when uh, they were in their original state, Yeah, um, just like extremely quickly. So we had to beef up the number of combatants that are in these encounters, and uh, later on I might talk more about uh, additional tuning that I've done on them. Totally, yeah, yeah, we can come back to that in a second, but uh, I think also too, really quickly, you know, back in the day, there was a, a very bespoke way of getting into the Whisper. You had yeah. to kind of hang out on IO, wait for this mysterious portal to come up, yep. um, but we've, we've made some changes to that as well, I think you were mentioning before we hopped on the air. Oh yeah, I mean, I was a victim of it, right? We had the public event with the RNG, and you right. had to wait for the right one, and you know, yeah. one, one time I tried to take a coworker through on a Saturday, and yeah. we spent like seven hours just yeah. trying to get a few runs because of, because of the public event. And right. And that we just had to change that, right? Mm. And the team was excited about having a new, you know, benefactor, a new character that you so you know, talk to. So you'll be talking to Eris Morn. Eris Morn is going to tell you some really cool stuff. I don't want to give it away. Smart. Yeah. But you know, you're not going to have to deal with the, the frustrating uh, trigger to get in anymore. Excellent. Mm -hmm. oh, that's always good to hear. Giving a chance, especially you know, if people are going to come come back in here multiple times as yeah. they kind of build up their their craftable exotics. Obviously, a pretty key component. Uh, also, too, is you know I think it's it's worth mentioning that that this is this has undergone more changes than just the combat landscape. That was uh, neat. The veteran players who are coming in here, folks like myself that have mm -hmm. maybe kind of had a lot of this committed to memory. Um, how have you gone ahead and made sure that it's fresh for those veteran guardians out there? Yeah, well, the the, the goal was, how is this going to be exactly what you just said, right? Like if I if I've played this 10, 15, 20 times, I've guided people through. Maybe I've, I've made a video about how to get through here. Well, how's it gonna speak to me, right? Like right. what's gonna be cool for me to go in and do it again? And, and that was the goal that the team had. And it, when we knew we were gonna do this, I made my own list, right? Yeah. Like I was like, we're gonna change this, we're gonna move that, we're gonna, and I was really excited about it. Yeah. So, Tom, so Tom was in this meeting. So we, I show up and there's like you know, 15, 20 people mm -hmm. and they presented this whole plan and I had my list all ready to go and I was gonna wait. I was gonna listen to all the proposal and everything and then yeah. start giving <laughs> ideas and stuff. And when they finally finished presenting this plan for how to update this thing, I just deleted my list because it was <laughs> like, it was way bigger and way cooler than anything that I'd come up with. Yeah. It was just so neat to see like a fresh take on it. So if you think you know where the chests are, if you think you know where all the secrets are, if you think you know where all the surprises are, yeah. you don't because they're different. All those old guides and all the old walkthroughs, they're gonna have to be remade. Even though I'll just give one away, 
When you first get in, there's that first secret chest room on the right. Right. The anomaly has taken care of that. It's not there anymore. Anomaly has yeah. taken care of it. So more surprises. <laughs> to the to the Steam guide writers, to the game facts writers, to mm. the folks making yeah, their YouTube videos, a revision two is going to be in order sometime soon. Oh yeah. By the sounds of it. Yeah. That's really exciting. Uh, also, too, is is um, you know, are there any other changes that you guys are particularly excited about when it comes to the whisper? We're going to move on to zero hour here in a little bit, but um, you know, before we conclude our journey here, uh, Willie, actually on your side, are there any changes in particular that you're excited about with this this updated version? I'm excited about the way that the boss fight has changed yeah. for this activity. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll leave that to folks to go ahead and discover on their own uh, when it comes to the launch day of, of the Whisper. But uh, <clears throat> yes, this is a first look uh, for the folks out there who are, are looking to go ahead and make sure that they, they're ready on day one to go ahead and add another craftable exotic into Looks their, cool. their collection. Uh, obviously, the Whisper is going to be there for you, but we don't want to spoil all of it. You'll have it in your hands soon enough. Uh, and also, some folks out there have already had a chance to play it, so we don't want to go ahead and uncover too many of the mysteries. Uh, up next, we've also got, obviously, another iconic one, Zero Hour. Uh, let's start from the top. Can you explain, uh, Rob, the concept behind Trevor? You've obviously gotten homage to him on your I have my I have my shirt, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a <laughs> yeah, little bit about what this original concept was? Uh, so, so Trevor was really inspired by this. There's this Japanese game show called Takeshi's Castle, and it's been around a while. And it's great because it has all these physical challenges and people getting knocked down or you know flipped over and stuff and mm -hmm. trying to get through things and and there's just a lot of comparisons to what we try to do in Destiny and we've we've borrowed from that show and shows like it for a long time for cool ideas and they have this one bit where the contestants try to get up this hill and there's this big fake boulder that comes down the hill <laughs> yeah right? and there's these little like side yeah uh, whisper rooms, mission is you know, like awesome, little pockets that they can try to get into. And so we were like, man, if we had something like that in the middle of this mission, that would be amazing, yeah. right? Like, and so we had this thing that we called, we there it is. Yeah, we got some concept art up on yeah. the screen now. So we had this thing that we called the hazard for a long time. The hazard is going to get you, right? And it's going to come down at you. And on the left, you can see the original whiteboard drawing of what this could look like. <laughs> and there you see the hill with the slots. <laughs> yeah. We basically lifted off of Takeshi's castle. Yeah. And then that evolved into what we eventually made as a maze, yeah. right? And then there's the very first drawing of Trevor. And on the right, you can see a concept art by one of our artists named Fan Gao. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at it, it had a bit of a vacuum cleaner look. You know, it didn't quite nail the fear. Sure. You know, which, which yeah. we might talk about in a second here. Oh, yeah. So okay. then on the far right, you can see the centipede legs and the light and the, the final revision. That's pretty close to how Trevor I appreciate did. that. I yeah. appreciate the, uh, the dedicated support, my friend, even if you're not dialed in that much. Uh, and, I, you know, kind of while we're on the other <laughs> the legs, <laughs> job, which uh, brings up, honestly, another great example I'd love to touch on as well is, um, you know, as, as a guardian myself, we've we've felled gods. We've fought yeah. some of the most difficult battles in the universe, whether it's against our fellow guardian or, or the many foes that set foot inside the solar system. Uh, when it comes to Trevor in particular, it elicits a very primal, sincere fear. How did you guys kind of yeah, elicit that life, from players who have obviously conquered so much? Well, I think there's this like satisfaction from scaring people that's inherent in everybody. Like yeah. we've all scared somebody. I think at some point it's just super fun, right? Yep. So what could what could we do in Destiny to actually make people feel fear? And, and the team was super excited about how to try to tackle that problem because you're right, right? Like guardians can just jump away and we kill everything and we're just oh, gods. Invisible and dodge killers. away. Yeah, exactly. To do it. Yeah. So how do you how do you scare uh, our players in the game, right? So the first step was drop you in a maze. Yeah. Uh, there's something in there that you cannot kill. You can't jump mm -hmm. up because the ceiling is just above your your head, right? Yeah. So those were the first three things. This thing is faster than you. Yeah. So you know you're in there with something that you can't kill that can go faster than you. Yeah, we get the old tower And then, back. of course, we did the uh, centipede bottom, yeah. which I have this particular phobia of centipedes. Like, The fact that you took something that is such a fear <laughs> and me, put it yeah. front and center, honestly, like it's yeah. commendable. I watched this video, like, like video where this, oh, mate. this dude takes a giant centipede and lets it bite him on the arm. Why would you do that to your... I don't know. I almost passed out like watching this video. <laughs> so I, uh, centipedes terrify me. And so I thought the bottom of this thing just has to be sideways centipede legs that are made out of metal and they just grind you up when it catches you. Mm -hmm. And then the final piece of the, um, the formula for this thing really was to put a super bright light on it that would shine as a shadow caster across your, like past your body so you can see your own shadow as you're trying to get away. Yeah. 
and uh, honestly, like a lot of it was inspired by the anxiety that I feel, and, and I think folks on the team also felt when we talked about like the trope of a subway that's coming around the corner. Right. Right. So you just, see that it's always, finite yeah. just clock running out it's in front coming. of you. It's coming. Yep. Yeah. You see the light coming, and then you see the thing. Yeah. And so that really helped uh, us figure out how to make yeah. this thing as, as freaky as this possible. Time, no Indiana Jones laying down on the tracks hoping for the best here. Yeah, no. Not a chance, yeah, no. Trevor's no. <laughs> gonna chew you up, obviously. Uh, so also, we're, we found ourselves now, we're in the beginning stages here of the Whisper we can see on screen. Um, Willie, we kind of touched on this briefly over the course of, uh, of the Whisper, uh, but can you tell us a little bit about what it was like sort of reinventing these combat spaces and these encounters for Guardians in a modern sandbox, <laughs> especially those that are gonna have the brave arsenal available to them? He's my brother from yeah, another mother, so, that's what it is. Uh, just now you saw a brig in this encounter, uh, which there wasn't one before. Um, I think there's there's the desire to keep the the soul of the activity, which is that, oh, there's time pressure um, on me to finish this activity quickly, and also I'm uh, oh, no, don't going tap up out against again. powerful enemies that are trying to stop me from doing that. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to make sure that the combat still felt challenging, even in today's sandbox, so we added some new combatants yeah. to the brig. Um, and we also just increased the number of combatants, period, yeah. um, so that players had more to do Loot with their Bobby more diverse to and deadly tools. Yeah. <clears throat> Guardians have plenty of those available to them. Uh, when you were developing these combat spaces as well, were there any moments where you really thought to yourself like, all right, this is it. Like we've really centered in on what was great about this mission originally, but this is gonna be appropriately challenging for today's Guardians. Yeah, I think the, when we, when we play tested it and uh, you know, we had everybody load up with uh, their like new maneuverability tools, their swords, their grapples mm -hmm. uh, to go through the activity and then we were expecting that like, oh, people are gonna breeze through this, like it's nothing, like the original 20 minute timer has to uh, become something else. But really all of that translated over pretty well. Like the individual yeah. sections are uh, self-contained enough that like you can't, uh, bypass too many things by just using one new tool. Sure. Um, the whole thing sort of still felt like zero hour. Yeah. Even with your new toolbox. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Even even with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump forward here a little bit as well, using our dev tools to take a look at Trevor as well. So for the folks out there that want to reinstill that fear, hacking, bro. A great if I had that on my PC. Uh, also, too, is we're in a world where you know there's strand grapples, there's shatter skating. Uh, when it came to kind of redesigning these activities, or even making, I guess, alterations more appropriately on these activities, um, you know, with one like Trevor, for example, what was the challenge that you kind of had to overcome with those new movement tools in addition? to the combat tools that players have available to them? Yeah, I guess uh, philosophically, I want to make sure that if people were specking into being highly maneuverable, then I honor that choice and say, yeah, you're highly maneuverable. Like maybe you're in this hallway with Trevor. Uh, I don't want to be ground up by these centipede legs, <laughs> so I'm going to sword skate through this so that I can have a little bit of speed on Trevor. Um, but like, you know, you still can't invalidate the challenge entirely. Trevor will still kill you if you mistime those. Mm. So they're just like different expressions of how you want to tackle no, these they challenges. Haven't mentioned anything and about the those exotics. expressions like fully throw these challenges out the window. Yeah, actually something too that I'm seeing pop up in chat here uh, is the mention of the timer. So for starters, there's also, this is normal difficulty, yeah. there's also legend, isn't that right? Uh, yeah, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about like any updates to the timers in these no. missions as well? So, uh, and Willie, feel free to have him correct me if I'm wrong, but on normal, it's 40 minutes because we want to give players a little bit extra time, especially sure. if you're new, you want this to be accessible, everyone get in there and get the, 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 the experience. But a lot of our kind of like, uh, the like quests, content, and secrets are in the Legend version, which has a 20 minute timer. Correct? Yes. Yep. Interesting. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you, chat. Uh, in addition to you know these, these other updates you've made, are there anything or any, any changes you've made in particular that you're excited about that you're comfortable talking about it here? Or is it just a, you want players to dive in and find out for themselves? Yeah. The, so the whole secret setup for Zero Hour is different. Um, so, you know, previously we had key cards, those have been replaced by another secret system that you'll just have to find out 
more about for Perfect. yourself. Excellent. And you know, I'm also proud of the boss fight in this. That's activity. right. Yeah, we'll hold that one close to the vest. Players will have a chance mm -hmm. to see that on their own and see Willie's hard work uh, in person very soon. Uh, now, as we mentioned at the mm. top of the show as well, there's going to be craftable versions of these exotics, and we're going to check them Here out. We go. But there was one more example uh, that I wanted to ask you about, Rob, in particular. Uh, there was some discussion briefly about the acronym that is Trevor. Can you tell us what that stands for? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, but yeah. I, had to, I had to open my phone because it's like impossible to remember that. <laughs> it, we got we all have our yeah. notes. Yeah, it's part of the game. <clears throat> so, yeah. So early on, the team we re we just realized we had to figure out an acronym for this because we loved the name Trevor because it was paradoxical. Mm -hmm. I went to school with a kid named Trevor who was the nicest kid in the entire school, <laughs> just nice to everybody to yeah. a fault, right? So I always thought like Trevor is just the nicest name, and so paradoxically, here's this evil thing named Trevor, and we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> But Sorry. once we often numericized, is that a word? Yeah. Once we made that, we had to come up with the acronym. So the one that I had was Tracking Robotic Three Vectored Reducer. Because <laughs> it reduces, right, Tom? It's like it reduces you, yeah. Uh, but that was our internal acronym. Yeah. And so when we went to GuardianCon and did, we did like a, a fly through or like a walk through. Yeah. Um, and so we, uh, the community team, uh, thought that we should let the fans of Guardian Con yeah. decide what the actual acronym for Trevor was. And so we had like the five different examples and my tracking robotic was in there. Oh right? yeah. That's one of the things I was like, please pick <clears throat> mine, please pick mine. Yeah. And so at the end, <clears throat> what they decided okay. on, and they decided by loud applause and it was like very obvious uh, this is what they wanted. The committee had Oh yeah, it's like very obvious. Yeah. What they decided on was Tame Relaxed Triple Vac Roommate. <laughs> so that's the official name for Trevor. That's it, it's codified. Acronym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... yeah. Thank you very much to the, gen the, to the denizens of GCX. Thank you very much for your hard work and letting us know uh, exactly what yeah. Trevor should be called. That's, that's really cool. I wish I'd been there for that. Uh, okay, now we're taking a quick look uh, at the craftable exotics as well. We're gonna go ahead and start with Whisper of the Worm. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about what, you know, players who are kind of go gonna go ahead and facilitate their own play style or wanna build a Whisper all to their own, what are they gonna have to look forward to with all this? Yeah, even before we get into the, the crafting, like, the like, I've got my notes here from Chris Proctor. So You're the man himself. Grow. Yeah, he's right. sitting on my shoulder, helping me out here. Um, and we wanted to retain the, the fantasy of both these weapons, of both of Whisper and of Outbreak. And, and you know, Whisper, it's about it's a hard-hitting precision weapon where you're in yeah. the backfield. Like, and if you land your crits, you're rewarded, and you can sustain Show us a the perks, damage man. On, a, on a boss or enemies with a large critical area. Ogres will be felled. O ogres will be felled, the servitors stand Oh, don't a say the chance, yeah. <laughs> um, and then with Outbreak, it's the fantasy is all about spreading the, the plague of C Siva Nanites. Certainly. Um, and we'll be able to get to that in a, in a minute. But I think we're looking at Whisper right now. Yeah, so specifically with Whisper um, and, and Outbreak, for both of them, with both these crafted weapons, they'll both have a, a craftable barrel, uh, magazine, traits, and stock options. Um, the barrel and magazine options will let you like really push the stats around. Mm -hmm. um, like so, you'll be able to have like a max stability whisper if you want. Uh, yeah. Um, which was like you know really advantageous for a weapon that's about this like hitting repeated critical hits. Certainly. Uh, in an area, um, and then specifically for the perks on whisper and the, both the perks on whisper and outbreak are things that by engaging in our secrets week over week and in both of these exotic missions, uh, you'll be able to unlock them. Um, and Whisper, it starts off with Mulligan, uh, which is the, the classic perk where if you miss your shots, they get refunded. Prep, but if you no distractions uh, and upgrade it, you can get field prep, which will give you mm. more shots, which equals more damage. Yeah. Uh, and then there's no distractions, which will allow you to you know uh, keep uh, under under fire, hold your aim on your target better. Exactly. And there's also enlightened action, which is for more forgiving reloads. So there's, I think, a lot of options for players of different play styles and different skill levels Perfect. there. Yeah. Um, and then just the kind of the cherry on top there with Whisper is that it's getting a reserves bump. So it's going to go from That's right. 18 uh, in reserve to 24 in reserve. Uh, so you're going to have a ton of ammo to be, just like make it a sustained damage monster, yeah. uh, which is, is, is super exciting. So ultra precise players like myself who never miss a shot <laughs> will have even more. Why are you guys laughing? Why, do you, why, is, that, why is that funny? Uh, no, that's really exciting. We also, so we have Whisper of the Worm yep. uh, in addition to Outbreak Perfected now joining yep. the pool of craftable exotic weapons. Uh, let's take a quick look at Outbreak as well while we're here hanging out in the Enclave. Um, Tom, kind of, you know, second verse, same as the first, same question. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the perks, yeah, and not updates great perks. that players will have available to them with uh, their options to craft Outbreak Perfected? Yep, and so in addition to barrels and mags, it has 
Uh, it's, it's classic outlaw perk is back. So you get your fast reloads on final blows, which works which really well about yeah. without break. It's all about also landing precision hits to, 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 to either uh, spawn nanites or to kill enemies and spawn nanites and spread that SIVA energy yeah. around. Spread the plague. Spread the plague. Um, and then the, the second one, though, that we've we're added here is rapid hit, which plays right yeah, into that. Yeah, boy. So like you, you land your Rewind precision rounds shots, as well. You get more oh, stability, head see carrying the PvP. Reloads. Oh, my uh, God. Then another new one is rewind. Uh, re uh, rewind rounds. It's hard for me to say. Fast, yeah. yeah, try it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, which refills your reserves from uh, it, it, to minimize your reload. So like, if you're hitting shots, you're just gonna keep getting more ammo, which yeah. is really a kind of interesting. Uh, perpetual motion machine, no perpetual yeah. death machine. So yeah, it's like, do you want? Yeah, do you want the reloads? Or you just want to keep shooting. Yeah. Um, and then there's also a head seeker, which I think maybe for PvP or for certain for certain play styles where like you're, you're less you know focused They're on your decent. That's, that's something Outbreak's to think about definitely as well, the standout right? here. Um, in terms of catalysts. Um, if you already have them, yeah. you're golden. You can craft those. If you don't, you play the legend version of Whisper and Zero Hour, and you have a chance to get them. Very cool. So that's still in there. And then, as I mentioned, for unlocking these these new intrinsic perks that you can slot in, yeah. it'll be like a three week uh, mini quest line that rolls into the secrets for each of these. And Whisper is coming at launch with End of Light. Exciting. And Zero Hour is coming in May. Perfect. Okay. So there you go. Just as I thought. Zero hour for a while before you go ahead and change your attention and start unlocking they another, another uh, one of the, the storied enough. exotics of old. Yep. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning that there are more than just the craftable weapons available as rewards in these missions. There's some tried and true ships. Now, we were talking a little bit about this earlier, but as someone who still to this day wears a thousand wings. You and me. Yeah, yeah like yep. we, we, we know the feeling of getting that ship and finally having that I was there moment. Uh, the ships are making a return as well. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Okay, so for, for both Whisper and for Zero Hour, mm -hmm. um, they're, they're coming back. Is it the exact same ship, or are there going to be changes on them? No, these are actually new assets, right? They're, they're new ships, so yeah. they won't be the same. They won't, they won't sit in the same spot in your inventory. Mm. And they are updated to look really cool and new. And I think they're exciting, especially the, we took the old scrap drifter ship that yeah. was, <clears throat> I think, uh, not really loved particularly by the community because <laughs> yeah. it was it was literally scrapped together from spare parts to right. get built, and so we did a really nice pass on that. So it um, it's inspired by the look of Outbreak Perfected, and I, I think it looks great. I think the community is going to love it. Yeah. And then we have maybe the, the one for ship, Destiny One Thousand Wings. Uh, it's got a new design, uh, so you'll still have your old Thousand Wings, mm -hmm. and. If you have that equipped, players are going to know that you're OG and that mm -hmm. you got it back in the day. Oh, yeah. And the new one is going to look like the new one, so there won't be any mistaking the old one for the new one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So for the players who want to go ahead and continue to build up their collections, yeah. there's a chance to go ahead and dive back in. Yeah. Maybe they weren't there originally, but they yeah. want to go ahead and join the Thousand Wings Club to a degree. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <clears throat> so there'll be a chance to go ahead and unlock those, uh, unlock those as well. Um, Excellent. Well, I think we are actually about at the point of the show. We're going to go ahead and get ready to rotate over to the PvP map pack. But for starters, Whoa, let's PvP go ahead and make sure map we pack. thank our incredible team of playtesters here. Uh, going ahead and showing I'm happy off the about missions those. for us. Ashley, Whisper, Peyton, and Michael. Uh, thank not, you all not so too much. Keen on the perks, oh, but we're getting some waves the in the backstage. Mission itself will be cool. Uh, <clears throat> thank you all so much for the time. And of course, yeah, uh, Willie. I think this is unfortunately one. the time. Now we bid you adieu to go ahead and transition into thank the uh, the you. PvP Thanks map. Thanks for having me. See you soon. Awesome, Willie. Thank you so much. All right, we are now uh, joined by another member of the Bungie development team, a staff artist here who has helped made many of the PvP maps that you've also known and loved, the one and only Mr. Cooley Callahan. A free update Cooley, is stacked, welcome to the I show. know, it's pretty yeah. impressive. Going? To be <clears throat> Good to see you, thanks for having me Absolutely, here. it's been so long. Uh, yeah. yeah, it has, it's been a minute. Look at us, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No it's, armor? Yeah, full circle. Yeah, now uh, we were talking a little bit before the show about Cooley. I'm gonna go I ahead and specifically do us all a favor Cooley on armor, the spot to so agree. Well, we were talking a bit about Cooley's history. We were. Here. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about the man sitting just to your left, the contributions he's made to the PvP pantheon? Yeah, well, one of the things that was really important for us was to make sure that the strike team was stacked, that we had the best designers on the strike team. Mm -hmm. And so Cooley is certainly one of those. He's a six-year veteran of the PvP team who shipped over 11 maps. Yeah. A lot of them are fan favorites, and I'm not going to steal any more Cooley's thunder. I'll just let him talk <laughs> yeah. about some of that. Yeah, it's uh, not not everyone's a banger. I mean, there's definitely some maps <laughs> that people would want some words with me. Uh, but I <laughs> We'll think, save that for later, but what, what are yeah, some of the bangers? Come, come find me. Uh, it's... Um, I think, you know, uh, Burning Shrine, yeah. uh, which is now Burnout, you know, it's such a classic map. It's um, a trial's favorite. And then Midtown is another map that turned out really well. We built that for Countdown, but, um, you know, I was just chatting with another Destiny fan at the dog park the other day talking about how 
well that map supports all of the different uh, engagement ranges, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely something that we try to do. We try to create places for players to use their their favorite tools. Yeah. Now with the the maps, we're going to be looking at three of them today with kind of a, a primary focus on, you were mentioning earlier, I think it was the 3v3 kind of competitive side of things was sort of the focus for these maps. Absolutely. Yeah. I think early on, um, a lot of the direction that we got was we wanted a to bolster that competitive uh, gameplay experience um, with new maps, tweaks to the modifiers of some <clears> of the modes. And so we, in our play testing, really focused on the competitive playlist and um, really centered and put those uh, experiences at the forefront. Um, and then, you know, all Destiny maps, you know, can, can suit a variety of modes. So we also made sure they worked elsewhere. But for the most part, yeah. we really did want to provide um, new experiences and just breathe a little bit of new life into the higher, yeah. maybe a little bit sweatier uh, <laughs> gameplay. So we know you were staring directly at me when you said sweaty, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, pretty, we'll, we'll let it go for now. Uh, you know, actually, uh, briefly too on that topic before we kind of go into the uh, guided Pocky tour of these maps. Uh, um, you zero know, hour. Had so much time to sort of be it's zero of hour and the, whisper, the, the, the and naturally so both of the weapons is, are returning as craftable versions, and there's new exotic ships as well for both missions. And, you know, bringing forward those lessons into these maps. Yeah, I think one thing that is always at the forefront of our minds is, um, you know, trying to strike that balance between, you know, providing the playground for players to express themselves and express their guardian and their play style. Mm -hmm. So a lot of verticality, a lot of movement. Um, and then so and then balancing that with making sure players understand where they're getting shot from and, you know, creating a satisfying PvP engagement. That PvP finally, um, I know, man. I know. It doesn't leave players, you know, cursing the map or sure. um, you know, feeling like they they don't understand why. Whispers they mid, so yeah. The perks. We want to make sure that players have, um, you know, the the. We want to provide a Outbreak choice for nice. that's you know Head always available in PvP to them would be to, um, to riff and to work with their team to, you know, use the map to their advantage. So yeah. it's a it's a balancing like a complex gameplay space um, that allows a lot of movement and freedom with without you know um, opening it up so much that you're not understanding like geez I can get shot from so many different places. Certainly. Um, so we we really. Um, it's a, it's a little bit of back and forth. We'll we'll open it up. We'll try some things. Yeah. Um, especially this time around, we we tried some stuff and and got into the weeds. The messages a thing. Yeah. Um, I think that's all yeah. part of the discovery process of finding. Yeah, true. Finding but nanites no, no, want to create. No, no, it's so also a thing. Go a little further, maybe too far in the in the openness and switch. Yeah, with rewind then, rounds, um, bring it back like and, outbreak, and make it a little bit more focused and really dive. Will be in really the, good. The engagement. I mean, it was good want. for a DPS awesome. anyway. That's why it was like the go-to no in like crown and stuff. Uh, shall, day one. shall we go ahead and dive on in? Absolutely. Excellent. Cool. Diving on in. Uh, all right, we got the first of three maps oh, to go yeah, ahead and show off. Oh yeah, whispers at the back. This is the uh, we have we have one on Europa, one on sight. the Luna, and then one on one of the pyramid ships in Essence, I believe. Is That's the right. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the first one. This is here on Europa. Uh, Cooley, can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here today, or where we are? Yes. So this map is called Eventide Labs, and this is a long forgotten human colony research outpost on Europa. Five um, minutes left. And Keep it uh, up. It just so happens that Aramis has chosen this location as a refueling station for her catch. So here you'll see, um, you know, perched just above the horizon has a catch? is her catch in the in the in the skybox. With, you know, it's getting it hooked up, and um, we have a servitor over here that's um, hooked up to the catch to provide that ether that the elixir you need. Um, and so we really wanted to situate the maps in the universe and, you know, draw on that deep Destiny lore. Um, but yeah, yeah we, we need have, this uh, photo have mode. Fallen here, set amongst the um, abandoned human, uh, you know, ice encrusted structures of the past, which has been a really fun um, environment to work on. We definitely want to bring in as many new palettes as possible because you know there's so much great um, environment art content. And the palettes are, are really cool, and we want to we want to use those in in PvP wherever we can, just to you know. The different palettes have different character that yeah. leads to different gameplay spaces. Uh, also, you know, when it comes to kind of finding these maps to place in the world, Rob, uh, you know, having kind of looking at through these through an artistic lens, uh, what were some of the challenges or even kind of exciting opportunities potentially of finding you know new places for these maps to live in the more modern era of Destiny that we've been experiencing more recently? Well, we really wanted to make sure that when we do an update like this, you know, it's it's a major refresh to the to the map rotator, right? Mm -hmm. Like we, we're adding quite a bit of variety here. 
we wanted to make sure that we had three distinctly different places and places that players haven't seen a bunch of times. So right. fortunately, we had these uh, available to us. And I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at it again now. I mean, I, I'm not getting sick of looking at this. The team does such a good job. It's gorgeous. This is, I mean, one of the cool things is just how purposeful everything feels in the world. You know, yeah. like our team always pushes it so far where it really feels like you're walking into a truly recently defunct, mm -hmm. you know, human colony or whatever the case may be. Yeah, and the frozen world of Europa, I mean, they all they all have their advantages for, for PvP, but uh, the the frozen ice walls of Europa are just perfect for yeah. multiplayer, and I'm sure Cooley's going to talk about this a bunch. Yeah, actually, also to Cooley, if you wouldn't yeah. mind, uh, you know, I as as people who have heard me talk too much about Destiny PvP would know, Dead Man's Tale and I get along a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit maybe about some of the sight lines or opportunities? It was more like that season twenty four. It's, it's, it's a chunky like update. The, the first time. I mean, these are coming totally, in May. Totally. If, if long range is your thing, um, this spot out here is definitely the place for you. The um, fuck did he just do there's then? There's one spawn that happens. Uh, uh, for uh, one team over by C and then one over by A, and so in these I want this version modes, of Destiny. If you've got an objective out here, this sight line is really important to lock down. So this is the like, this is a spot where you're gonna have two teams poking uh, and peeking each other, um, and then you know rushing over here to try to get to this this zone and lock it down. And yeah. um, if you're you know rolling with that that long range kit, you can hang back and sort of lock down this airspace here so that you can provide cover and, and maybe support your team from being uh, harassed down on this point. God, this and is then fantastic. we also have sort of this uh, the sight line in the middle, which will be pretty fun. It's definitely going to be a race to um, for each player uh, or each team to kind of get to this spot and, and lock down the this sort of uh, portal here to ensure that you can uh, push into this space and kind of control the middle. But um, as you can see, there's you know, lots of ways for players to come in and flank. So if you're holding the space, you'll really not want to be here for too long unless you've got the support to do it. Yeah. Um, Make sure you throw those grenade, grenades right off of the rip, basically, mm -hmm. when you're coming out of spawn to try and yep. conquer that territory as best you can. Yeah, one of the things I love about these ice caves is, um, you know, it provides a lot of opportunity for grenades, like trip mines, and to bounce things off of the, the back of the, of the walls. And the, the shapes here are just really fun to, to play with. Awesome. All right, so this is uh, one of three maps. Let's go ahead and prepare to go ahead and move on to the next one here really quickly. We've got uh, coming up next, Neomuna uh, as well. So finding a place you know, on Neomuna, obviously, that that's, makes sense for PvP probably seems pretty natural, honestly, given just like how rich and vibrant and exciting of a place it is. Uh, what was it like you know, even starting from an artistic standpoint on this map, Rob? This was a really exciting map for the team. Um, it's a shopping slash entertainment center for the Exos on Neomuna. And, yeah. um, you know, so there's a lot of really fun uh, decoration and the spaces have a lot of character to them. There's a lot of recognizable things, um, you know, human scale things that, you know, look relatable. And yeah. we don't always get that in, in all of our palettes. And so um, this is also an opportunity for us to have a really clean architectural mm. map that has a lot of... Uh, so they're now uh, craftable. You know, Both missions are coming and, back in, uh, um, into the light. Very uh, flat floors. So all of the... Definitely the more competitive players and the sort of the more PvP uh, diehards, um, they really take to this map. And it's an instant hit. Um, people are, you know, just right away pleased with you know, how readable the map is. It's one of those maps that you play a couple times. Bro, and we need this camera you, you mode, it, dude. Understand Fuck. That it's all about this, the center atrium room that is really open and kind of, you know, has this big pit in the middle. And then yeah. um, there's this area down here, which is uh, where a lot of objectives spawn. And there's um, some special ammo down here. But then there's also um, this place over here where the, the heavy ammo spawns yep. and, you know, players will oftentimes just pop up here to do a quick check and, and maybe like try to get a, a cheeky kill on somebody who's maybe running uh, from cover to cover. But yeah. you can't hang out here for very long because you've got so many different angles at which you can um, get shot from. But that's, that's kind of like that balance of what I was talking about before. Like we, we want to provide that, but we want to make sure that um, it's not too powerful or, um, you know, it's, it's still, it's a risk reward, right? You're making a trade off and, um, you know the the players who are using the map well and who understand the map will, um, you know, be able to use it to their advantage. Yeah, actually, also too to kind of focus on the readability. Uh, I remember overhearing some discussions with with you designers talking about the clean zone in PvP. People Can you tell us a little bit about what that is and how D1, you kind of helped even though they're using the D2. 
Yeah, I know definitely. what one they're talking about. The, the clean zone There's a lot of sim that, similarities you know, a lot of, with it. Um, a lot of developers uh, really use to um, sort of create this space for uh, uh, the player to. What was that map called? Pop, right? I remember. To, like, really stand out from the environment. And so for us, it's about where the player's right, head height is. And this map off is the chain. You know, just one of and the examples streaming of how it. It, it can really provide for a good PvP experience to um, have this sort of mark on the wall where you can kind of expect players to, to reside in. Yeah. Um, Till they jump around and, and strand, suspend you in the air, and you're just left there cursing the heavens for yeah. a little while. Yeah. Maybe Nexus. I'm speaking on my own behalf. <laughs> Nexus. Uh, this is this is looking fantastic. Yeah, this is I will say one of the maps that having done a little bit of playtesting myself, um, I still have to give you credit for perhaps one of the most diabolical heavy weapon spawns or heavy <laughs> ammo spawns rather I should see uh, in any PvP map. Like the sheer amount of risk reward that goes into just making your way safely. Is it on or Venus? So you think outside I'll of the territory. Now. Right. Um, you know, as you guys were even building that balance in of these consumables on the map, Cooley, what was it like sort of having that that process evolve or, or grow? Yeah. Um, you know, typically when we start laying out a map, we, we just kind of start with control because it's a, it's a good base point. It's, it requires three, you know, very well-defined combat pockets that have an objective in them. Um, but then from there, we start mapping out the other objectives that might exist on a map, like the heavy ammo point. And I think we've kind of gravitated more toward having special ammo live next to ship in the middle. some of the other objectives uh. on the map, so you're not constantly having to make a choice of where, where should I go. Um, but we, we kind of map those things out, and um, it's, it's sort of a formula. There's, there's definitely a um, sort of a order of operations, so to speak, of you start with you know, these big strokes, um, you go to the next stage. It's definitely done differently. Sure I wouldn't say it's like a space and carbon copy, for, but you can, if it's know, got similar kind of uh, or, elements you know, to some, it, some other game modes, and, it'd be through uh, influence. Things just kind of fall into place from there. All right, and we've also got we got one more map to check out as well uh, for all the fine folks at home. We're going to continue our guided tour, and we're going to make our way over to Essence, to one of the pyramid ships, to check out the final PvP map that'll be releasing in this pack. Uh, as we're flying in, I, I gotta I gotta give you guys credit. Like the space that exists inside those pyramid ships that's being terraformed by so the that's traveler. That's the live chat in the DT channel. Nah, incredible. mate. But this I is can't, the first time you guys be looking at that to chat. Flex your muscles and build a PvP map out here. There's a house um, of walls yeah, map. Yeah, yeah. From your I'm gonna have to go through them. <clears throat> what was we it like after developing the stream, though. this? You know, playground for guardians that's kind of so deep in the enemy's backyard. I think it was really tough. You yeah. know, like the, I remember there were quite a few iterations of this map, and I know Cooley's gonna go into more detail, but like from a high level. It's a, a pretty inherently noisy palette. You know, Cooley was talking about the clean zone. Mm. There's some palettes in the game that are, that are just very visually noisy. So the geometry is noisy. They create a lot of shadow and a lot of highlights yeah. just by the geometry itself. And then the textures, the shaders it's that are nice. on the geometry, those can be noisy. Yeah. And then there's the clutter of the palette. So when you, when you have uh, an All environment right. with entropy and there's just mm -hmm. rubble everywhere, and there's decent. like garbage strewn around or, or plants hanging down, right. like we, we often do in Destiny, we have to declutter. Some of like the European mm -hmm. dead zone maps, for example, yeah. are highly cluttered. And so this was an example of one of those um, fairly entropic, high clutter palettes yeah. that the team had to kind of wrangle into shape. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sure Cooley's going to talk about that process because it was quite a process. Yeah. Jeez. Actually, yeah, Cooley, I'd love to it's continue nice. and just start there. You know, taking this space on a pyramid ship and kind of <laughs> making it suitable for a PvP map. What was, what was that process like from your perspective, kind of from more of a design side? Yeah, it's, it's again a, a process of back and forth. Um, you know, we start with Mass Out, and Mass Out is the simplest and cleanest a map will ever be. And, uh, you know, from there we start um, developing the spatial character of, of the map. And one of the things we like to ask ourselves is, what is this place? And even with um, a more abstract palette like um, the Essence ship, um, it's, it's worth asking that question because we can leverage spatial archetypes that just kind of like naturally resonate with people. So um, like here we have in this map, we have sort of these dueling huts or these yeah. dueling, dueling ziggurats. And, Inside of them is this artifact or shrine. So maybe this is like a, maybe this part of the ship is a, a collection of mysterious artifacts that the witness has collected, um, and so we, we lean on those things to to give a little bit of rhyme and reason to a space that otherwise is completely abstract, um, and that that is also really useful for us in terms of we can make any any kind of space we want. Like we're not limited by 
architectural constraints. But um, you know, it can be it can be tough sometimes to to orient players in the map um, when you don't have things like doors or you know <laughs> like TVs or, or um, you know any sort of you know, human scale architectural pieces that um, kind of clue you in. So yeah. yeah. It's also too is uh, yeah, I remember we were talking a little bit before the show, Rob, it even about nice, you know, what it was like from a design standpoint and bringing in external testers to try these maps uh -huh. out for the first time. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and kind of as you I think phrased it, discovering your own blind spots? Yeah, well we've done this before for years really, and yeah. we did it again here, and it was I think really successful because you know it was two days they ran through these maps when they were still in development. They yeah. weren't too far enough along where we couldn't make some some pivots that we needed to. Yeah. And they found a lot of stuff. I mean, we for this map, for example, we thought it was in a pretty good place. Yeah. And and a lot of things were called out. They didn't pull any punches. They were honest and clear and, and constructive with the feedback. And yeah. it wasn't super easy to hear at all. But sure. You know, when the when the team listened to it, and we we took tons of notes. And it was also about. I mean, they gave feedback on, on our sandbox as well. Yeah. But <clears throat> lots and lots of map feedback. It was incredibly useful. And, you know, just another lesson in what we don't see. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's just, it's so valuable to do that. And these, I can't say who they were, but they're very well known community yeah. players. There's folks in chat, who knows? <laughs> yeah. 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 But, you know, you know we, you we really were careful about who we brought in because we wanted people that would be very pragmatic. Mm. You know, they weren't interested in their own, you know, YouTube monetization strategy or how, how they particularly make content. They wanted the game to be in a great place. They wanted PvP to be in a great place for, for the community and for Destiny. Absolutely. Right? And so, and they were carefully selected that way and great communicators who could articulate the feedback. They could really speak to what they were experiencing and, yeah. and what we could do to fix what they were experiencing. Yeah. yeah. And it, man, I'd like, Cooley can, can probably um, say what he thinks about it too, but yeah. I was just blown away by yeah. How valuable that was, and uh, we definitely want to keep doing that. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. cool. Can you man. tell us a little bit more yeah. about that experience on your side as well? Totally. I mean, it's so fun to, like, those are some of my favorite moments when we can get a bunch of, um, you know, super fans from the community in and show them work in progress stuff, and they can actually give us real actionable feedback that we take back to the, back to our desks and talk about it, and we, you know, we, we discuss how can we, um, you know, sort of take their feedback and move forward. And um, this is this content is for them in, in, yeah. a, in a big way, right? Like we want, we need their approval. Like we we absolutely, you know, that's our that's our that's our mark. That's our our goal. No, okay, to, get in a second. Create content bungee? that they're going to love playing and that they're excited. Uh, to make play sure you got the bungee stream open as well, man. Are going to get excited to play and and sort of learn together and, and I wasn't getting progressed at first um, Sanchez I needed to reload the stream on my the phone part of the job yeah I mean also you know Cooley on on your side in general what are you most excited for for players to experience once this gets out into the world with into the light yeah I'm I'm excited to see these maps rotate into trials I'm excited for players to have a totally new trials experience that you know is going to be uh, a sort of a an experience of discovery of, of these new spaces and, and new strategies and um, for players to also you know the the meta of isn't really formed yet I mean like we we, we sort of know how the map plays but it's always a, a fun surprise to see in the wild um, just how the map ends up uh, sorting out and, and what people end up doing and um, you know we're, we're really looking forward to just watching what happens yeah I mean, I, I count myself among the many that are excited to go ahead and dive on in, having more playgrounds to go ahead and dive on in on trials, no matter what the case is, maybe try and go ahead and actually get some more competitive rank. Uh, Cooley, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through these today. We really appreciate it. That's Anytime, cool, man. My pleasure. Excellent. And uh, all right, well, we'll go ahead and use that as a moment Pray to conclude for trials. The, uh, the quick tour of, as well of the PvP maps. Uh, we got a quick question from chat from Jake Asor asking about, uh, are we going to get a playlist or mode? It'll be just these new maps during Into the Light. And the answer is yes. When they launch on May 7th, we'll have a 3v3 playlist to go ahead and talk just about these items. Uh, I'd rather let you play just those maps. Rather, we're talking about them today. <laughs> They're all going to be playing them very shortly. Uh, all right. Well, that uh, so far wraps up the first two segments of our show. But we've got, Pantheon. as I mentioned at the top, 
a few more announcements for you as well. So you may have heard us mention the word Pantheon in the TWID last week, uh, or even on the show here last week potentially as well. We have got a brand new uh, raid oriented, a raid boss gauntlet rather, starting on April 30th. Now there'll be more information about this in an upcoming TWID. You'll have more details to dig into shortly, but you will have the Pantheon coming up where you'll have an opportunity to face grueling raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. Now this is a chance for you to go ahead and rally your clan or the perfect fire team with Fire Team Finder if you're able to track them down, to go ahead and track down those exotics, adept weapons, any emblems you may not have gotten your hands on, but we have more details for that in the coming weeks. Keep an eye on the TWID, Cosmo and the community team. Thank you for your hard work putting that together. Two, uh, when you dive on in on, uh, on April 9th, uh, actually rather before we get there, I'm sorry, we will have the opportunity to also, you'll have the opportunity to get a title through your course of Into the Light as well. So if you dive on in, go ahead and unlock all the triumphs we'll associated with the seal, you'll be able to march into the final shape with a brand new title. Yeah, Elijah, good to see you, bro. As well. So make sure to go ahead and get those, those big challenges bit off so that way you can handle them uh, as early as you possibly can and let the witness know that you're on the way. Uh, and we have three really, really cool things hitting on April 9th when Into the Light launches. The first one is, if you're a new player, you got a buddy who's just jumping into the game for the first time, and you'd rather not hang out with Shahan and the Cosmodrome, then you have an opportunity to go ahead and just join the front lines. You can skip the New Light campaign, give Shahan maybe a high five on the way out, ask him for a weekly bounty when you're back later, but you have a chance to go ahead and meet up with your friends, head to the Hall of Champions, grab the Gift of the Thunder Lords if you so choose, and get right ready for battle alongside them. So you'll be able to go ahead and grab some of these New Light kits as well, depending on what your subclass of choice is out of the gate, but your barriers to dive in with your friends have never been lower. There'll be a chance to go ahead and dive on into everything you're seeing within the light here. Uh, also, we can skip. We have a couple more things. We have some questions in chat about this as well uh, from it's Zepsky and Atlas Live TV, but. On 4.9, you'll have the opportunity to also change your, what, the way your character looks. So uh, you'll be able to go ahead and change your hair if you didn't like your haircut, if you want to go ahead and change your face paint, if you want to go ahead and risk it to be one of those guardians who goes helmetless in the tower. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough, but I know many of you are. Your chance will be arriving very soon with Into the Light. Uh, and there will also be an opportunity to change your name. So Guardian4681 out there. With the launch of Into the Light, we're also going to give you one more name change token. If you already have your sitting around, I believe you have two, but our friends in DPS will be able to answer that question for you. But you'll have that chance as well once Into the Light launches. Finally, man, job now, sucks. There's a lot, but we also have one more thing for all of you. Uh, next week, we're going to be joining you again for a special developer preview of some gameplay for Destiny 2 The Final Shape. Mm -hmm. It'll be uh, here, wherever you're watching live, you'll be able to go ahead and watch it on April 9th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, okay. uh, where you'll get a chance to basically, again, get a look behind the scenes. The developers have been hard at work for some mm -hmm. cool stuff that you are definitely not going to want to miss. And over the course of that show, Twitch drops will be live. So they'll have, there'll be another emblem, which you can see here live on the screen, that'll be available uh, after about 15 minutes of view time. Uh, if you haven't gone ahead and also unlocked the emblems that you got as a result of this show or that we're, we're having available during the Into the Light streams, then Ooh. you have a chance to go ahead and spend some more time unlocking those as well. Uh, but uh, that, that does it. Um, for starters, to all of you Guardians out there in chat, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We're thrilled wow. about what we've been able to show off and thrilled about what the team's been working on for Into the Light. So thank you for taking the time to join 600 us. 600 bucks uh, for chat, all the old expansions? Out there, a good time. So thank you very much for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, also, it goes without saying, but we'll go ahead and do so anyway to the incredible team here at Bungie, building Into the Light, making all of this. Uh, the teams that you guys have been kind enough to represent, thank you all so much for all of your hard work. Uh, we're nothing without the entire... Cheers, guys. Wow, that was, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Pantheon still intrigues me. It, f it feels like it's like a, it's like a weekly modifier kind of, where raid bosses are just kind of farmable. Um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mad Mirth. Thank you for the follow on Switch, bro. Welcome in. You know what I'm saying? It, it just sounds like like a. You know, like you get the featured raid. It feels like it's like the featured boss uh, with scaling difficulties. We shall see. Raid boss rush. Yeah, pretty much, mate. I think that's probably a valid. You don't know how you feel about that? I didn't really 
show very much but we haven't got long to wait i mean next week could be nice because we get the um into the light i am banners bag baby valid for the taking cool we're gonna head over to the tower Imi, thank you for following dude thank you man so we've got final shape vidoc dev thing next week which is 30 minutes before reset so we'll go live a little bit earlier and then we'll get into that days gaming thank you for following bro you're a legend i don't know i mean the whisper and zero hour mission are the two most desirable ones so that's a massive tick both weapons are craftable tick you know the perks on whisper meh. Uh, but it's got a bigger reserve so potentially you could take advantage of things like um Lightened action a bit more and stuff like that. Uh, we shall see. Right, let's go see what Tess has got. Let's do the formalities for the week. And then we'll get into Iron Banner. Take a look. Let's get our free Bright Dust. Appreciate it. So, in the featured Bright Dust shelf, we've got the Read the Map from the Season of the Spicer. 3,250 Bright Dust. Imi's just subbed as well. Thank you for using your Prime here, dude. You had everywhere to choose and you chose here. So I do really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, we've also got the Aussie Mandius for the last man standing. I never had that. Shocking. No the Taken ornament. One of my favorite shotguns back in the day. Uh, we've got the pyramid entrance for 450. Love a good old pyramid. We've got the carbon blood for 300 bright dust. Pretty nice shader if you're a big fan of red and black. Looking pretty nice. Yo, Rich. Welcome in, buddy. Raven silk. Looking clean. Looking clean. In my opinion, Whisper should just be a special. Dude, I kind of wish they would have made that update too. That would have been a bit of a bombshell. Uh, we've also got the roller coaster. 4,250. Oh, yeah, that takes me back to, like, movie of the week. Whee! Yeah. Then we got the Raft Trail Boots. I don't have those either. Fucking hell. I'm terrible, dude. I'm going to pick that up. We got the Neomene Shell. Uh, that is 2,850. You've got the Shining Cabriolet for 2,000. And then we got the Out of Dodge for 2,500. A chunky boy, that one. Then we've got the Dessert Camo for the Mida Multi-Tool. I mean, Mida has some pretty nice ornaments. That's not one of them, though. And then we've got the If It Fits Projection. Nice. And we've got the Crystalline Breakout. I like that. We're going to grab that. Seek. I uh, got a seasonal challenge done somehow. Take that. All right, let's go see what the tr the nightfall weapon for the week is. They were desirable for me because they were awesome kinds of secrets. Yeah, there's going to be a... Uh... Yazume this week. Ooh, didn't know that. Zavico, thank you for the follow. Robbie, welcome in. You're way behind. You're only back into D2 and doing the Lightfall campaign. What are the good weapons you need to be getting? Uh, I wouldn't stress too much, to be honest, Rich. There's a, a lot of the uh, weapons that you probably want are coming in into the light and will be much more obtainable than kind of stressing and trying to farm the stuff that you're not going to care about in a week's time. So just focus on your pinnacles and your powerfuls and getting your power up if you need to. Maybe some of the raid stuff. Uh, that's about it. Right, let's see what... Uh, oh, no, let's go to the... Go to the gunsmith, see what he's got. Yeah, only 1,700 power. There you go. That's your priority, man. Don't worry about weapons. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the Lunatata. Steady hands turnabout. 
Cartesian, Hitfire Grip, Vorpal. ER Rich. Game's literally giving you a God Roll Cartesian. Good for DPS. Had a slight nerf. But it's still really good. This and uh, Riptide are probably the standouts. What's up, Def? That's pretty spicy, that. Holy shit. Uh, Volpate Killer Shoot to Loot Adagio. The Ogma with Demolitionist, one for all. And the Palmyra B with Ambitious Assassin and Adrenaline Junkie. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely get that fusion if you don't have a good one. I mean, the fusion that I use is this one, Chill Clip Auto Loading. But I normally... See, I've got Slideways. Which is nice, because when you're like... If you run out of ammo, I can just slide in DPS and get a couple of rounds extra. So it's not it's not too bad. But hip fire is nice, because... Um, a lot of the time, when you're in DPS, you might be hit firing, especially if you're really close to your target anyway. You're on route to the gunsmith. There you go. That's what we love to see. All right, let's see what shaders she's got. Oh, again? All right. We got this. Warmind. You like your carbon fiber. That is there. We got the Mercury Prophetic. Clean. And the Warcult Scheme. <sighs> and then these are trash, I guess. They are trash. Same as the last shaders. Are they actually? That's terrible, isn't it? The fact they were the same. Right, let's see. What's my loadout saying? Have I got a PvP loadout ready to go? Is this my PvP loadout, bro? My Fidian Aspects. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> probably is. Jar and his sweaty trials gear. Can we change our gender? They didn't specifically say that. I don't think you can. You can change, like, the way you look, but you can't change the way that you are. Uh, they already spoke about that trick, so IO is not coming back specifically, but they did say that there will be, well, we'll need to go to Eris and she'll kind of provide some kind of narrative as to, I guess, why we need to go back into the Whisper mission. Uh, but we load directly into it, so we're not going to get any like load zones or anything like that for IO. Although I would be interested to see how much of IO exists outside the Whisper mission. I'm sure those that like to escape the maps... We'll find that out. Right, let's pick up some bounties. Warlock, your skill in battle and your skill with light are the same. Reese Walker, a lethal abundance. That's pretty interesting. Shot swap. And nothing that we really want. That's unfortunate. I need to get those still because I'm a scrub. Yo, Jedi, thank you for the follow as well. These are clean. I need to actually put some time into Iron Banner. Uh, there we go. Tusk of the Boar. Nice. Wayframe stays, uh, strand. Nice. Bounties, yeah? Yeah, obviously. Bounties. Come back stronger. Shut up, Death. This is the who I'm getting bounties from, bro.
Did they previously say you could change genders? Oh, wow, okay. I must have missed that then. If that's the case, then cool, you do you. You'll be alright. Uh... Right, Def, are we gaming, bro? We gaming? I'm in the I'm in the Discord, dude. If you want to game, I don't know. Are we gaming? Are we bro? gaming, bro? Real? Re for real? Have we got any gamers in chat that want to grind a little bit of banner? Number one mistake in banner: making a six stack. <laughs> for real. What are we doing, bro? We're getting that uh, tusk of the boar, or whatever it's called. That's the that's the goal. Lovely. Well, uh, happy happy to say that I already have iron banner engrams. I just need to get it to drop so I can focus it. Lol. Good for you. Well, wow, imagine not taking away your iron banner engrams. <laughs> I don't have any, obviously. Come on. Uh, Get on yourself in here, dude. Ah, oh, yes. Fire team is set to closed. Sick. Poggers. So, exclamation mark, join. If you want to get in before death. Lol. Amazing. Amazing, well now. Huge. I'm gonna play Iron Banner with Forbearance and Dragon's Breath, bro. Not me. Well, that's me. Oh, you, well, you do you, bro. <laughs> you're you huge. I mean, bro? Oh, no, the, you're um, huge, bro. Super, super PvE uh, effective build. We get a shout out for Bonner. He's absolutely massive. Check him out. He's the goat. Puts up with me all the time. <laughs> How you doing, bro? We're streaming on Twitch, YouTube, horizontally and vertically. Because why not? It's 2024. We can do what we want. Are we doing good, dude? That stream was, uh, it was okay. It was. Yes, we might join if you want to jump in. We'll get a few gamers in. We won't, we're probably not going to go full stacking, though, because like Def said, I don't think that is a good time for anyone. Tribute? What are we doing? Tribute or control? What's, what's best here? For, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that tribute probably lasts longer than control. Oh, bro. I've got to put Iron Banner shit on, dude. Oh, fuck. Where's my Iron Banner I, emblem, man? I'm not worried at? about that. I, I, I'm already on Legends, so I'm not worried about that, to be fair. <laughs> Does it matter? So why did I even play this much Iron Banner? Oh, my God. So, Allow, I can't be bothered. It's just effort. It's effort. The question, the question I had for you, right? Yeah. What's the what's what's that what's the first thing we're gonna do next week? Whisper or onslaught? Hmm. Are we going are we going secret hunting in Whisper because they changed the locations of everything or Or Onslaught? I kinda want that mountaintop, bro. I can't lie to you. <laughs> yeah. Sanchez is loading up. Okay, we'll we'll wait out for you, dude. I don't know. That's a very good question, dude. What are we going to do first next week? Well, the first thing we're going to do is watch the final shape kind of update. Well, uh, yeah, obviously. But, but once we load in... Ooh. Oh, wait. That's a good point. Once we load in... I forgot about queue times, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once we load in... Um, then, yeah. 
probably not full chests are going to be available anyways in Whisper because they said that you're going to go back weekly for uh, more and more perks. Yeah, so the it's going to be like it's going to be like the bow mission where there's we'll find the area maybe, but there won't be anything there. Um, so true. First round of Whisper has to be Legend. Well, yeah, I mean, that's on the basis that it's available at Legend to begin with, right? You might have to finish it first to unlock Legend. Who knows? Ooh. Sanchez is in. Any other gamers? Exclamation might join if you want in. As a thick looking Titan boy. It should be Ornaments Breaker. So, um, nice. My reward is not moving at all for the emblem, by the way. Oh, yeah. I just, did I get just it? Been stuck at 40. Did I get it? Does it reset with each stream? Because it was like 94% per, on the last stream they did last week. And now it's 40. Now it's 40%. It went from 94 to 40%, and I'm not gaining any progress right now. Um, my emblem, Bungie. I don't know where my emblems are, to be honest. Do you claim it from the... Yeah. Well, so you got to claim it. Mine just got a full reset. <laughs> What page are they even on? Uh, it should be general. Um, wait, is it general? Hold on, I gotta look at your stream. Yeah, it should be general. At the end, should be close to the end. There's so many emblems in this tab. I wish it would just like highlight uh, your new emblems. One is completely green, the other one is completely like red. And yeah, I don't see it anywhere of your. Yeah, no, it's not there. It's not there, is it? Try. No, I. I it might be on second page two of general. What's that purple and gold ship he has? Uh, that is the Saint-14 ship, isn't it? Obsidian wings. Oh no, that's not it. That's deaths. Uh, yeah. Obviously he's got the, uh, the $10 shader on it, so... Might have to restart the game then? Oh, I can't be... For the sake of an emblem that I don't really care about that much. He says when he was raging, they didn't have it. Right, let's um, let's jump into some control. See if we can get this uh, GL on the go. It was on page three or four, apparently. Three. Wait, mine's on page one. Page one? I don't have it, bro. I don't have either of them. Yeah, but the green one is in my first... Oh, there it is. Got it. Take my time, I know. I'm a bit slow, dude, to be honest.
just passed it. I'm super slow, to be honest. Disjunction? Yes, everyone's favourite map. Mate, I, I really don't play Crucible. This is going to go so well. Let us see what today's guardians are made of. Opponent claimed zone A. Zone C captured. And shields. Sick. Bow beat TTV. TTV. Oh. Thank you for the follow, bro. Jedi, thank you for the follow as well. Sick. Got destroyed by sentry fuse. Holy crap! Ah! The hunt is over. Fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. We need we need dual wielding, dude. I'm surprised Destiny doesn't have dual wielding at this point. Okay, now lemon arc as well. Shocking. Cool. Yeah, we're getting absolutely pumped in this one. I blame lag. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Fuck! Didn't even see him on the radar, dude. Zone A captured. Opponent claimed zone C. Opponent claimed zone B. Right? Imagine an exotic weapon where you could just like dual wield some little side arms or some little Uzis or something. I don't know what they're talking about, but we just got mercyed. Zone A lost. You're being hunted. Don't let your guard down. These are... <laughs> GG's. Clearly it was a fair fight. Never give me disjunction again, please. Like, please. <laughs> I'm Ruby? Yeah, dude. Didn't I have that? GG's. I should probably switch into a ghost that gives you more wins for Vanguard. Uh, more rewards for Vanguard uh, completions. Uh, for Prisoner completions. That team is ridiculous. Literally zero chance. Absolutely zero chance. But GG's. Apparently, uh, is, uh, you know, school based matchmaking.
You suck. No, nah, I mean, don't worry about it. I don't. I don't uh, get too caught up on it nowadays. You win as a team, you lose as a team. So all good. Yeah, it's as painful as you remember, man. Some things just don't change, honestly. Like, my banner used to be super fun back in the day. Back in the day. Marosoft, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. And a fair few follows on Twitch today. What are we on follow wise? We're close to three and a half K. Anyone got the GL yet? Nah, none of us have got it yet. Not yet, my dude. Shaders dropping left and right. Those were the days. It's always a pleasant surprise when you get something to drop like that. <laughs> Bonus crucible ranks all week long, by the way. Once human bait is out tomorrow as well. Busy week, man. Busy week. Got some other stuff to work on too. Keeping me occupied. Working hard. Oh, yeah. It's quality matchmaking this. What you got planned, mate? Like for this week, what you doing? What am I doing? Um, yep. Don't really know, bro. I actually don't know. Um, Apart from Zur on Friday, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might do some kind of forward-looking content this week. I might do some. We spoke about it a little bit earlier with the stream, just like some into the light, kind of not prep, but like. You know, add density, like dense adds build kind of thing. Um, once for each, one for each class, do like a, a video that kind of like captures those three. And if you can, and better still, if you can combine the three, then you're kind of pretty good onslaught. So I might do that. Iron Banner. Outbreak is indeed to go to go crazy, Miku, with Headseeker. Holy shit. So Headseeker, bro, rewind rounds when you ran out of like special or something in a raid boss encounter. You just pull out Outbreak and just shoot it without caring. Yeah, man, you're going to see so many more like solo attempts on stuff and it's going to be Outbreak. <laughs> As a reserve. Lovely. Oh, shit. Yeah, man, it should be, should be, should be a pretty fun week, eh? Should be, yeah. There's gonna be a lot to do. Like in theory, like there's definitely, an, you know, enough content to do a video every day. Uh, so I might do the the builds one might take a bit of time. Uh, so that might be later in the week. But we could probably. What was my teammate doing? Literally nothing. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Can wait for into the light to be fair. Should be a lot of fun into the light. Oh yes, jump to my death. <laughs> Hey, yo. No heavy load. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, literally all there. I'm still just spamming that there. Uh... 
Okay, you can't go in any of those parts. Don't see lost now. Fuck! I'm such a toxic okay, person. Oh my god, that auto rifle is opponent claimed zone B, zone C captured. Oh my god, I'm so shit at this game. Honestly. For the setup I have, I'm also shit at this game right now. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Trying to get the side back there, but he just doesn't want to. Is this all pre-firing? What is? Oh, fucking hell. Mate, it's so like cagey, really. I mean, I did it right there, but we're still losing as a team. Does this hide and seek over here? No. Zone A captured. Opponent claims zone C. Oh, I tried to slide, dude. Oh, <sighs> Opponent claimed zone B. Bro, like, what is the point? Like, I got a fusion nade directly on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't automatically unlock as an ornament? I don't think so, man. Yo, King! Thank you for the follow, my dude. If they prevail, it won't be because you let them. Keep fighting. Ah, uh, shocking. Incredible how you can... That's incredible how you can just two-tap someone on a super with dead man's. 
I still haven't got my super, bro. I just popped mine and I didn't kill anyone because I just got two times. Love it when your super just runs out at the worst time. I feel like I didn't actually do this bad in this game. Really? You got two I banner god rolls, both dog rolls. <laughs> uh, I got an iron banner engram, so. Is what it is. Bro, retro futurist, what? What did I do there? 18 kills? I mean, that's the most as anyone. Yeah, that's alright. I didn't do too bad. I'm not absolute dog shit, but. <laughs> so what are we doing here then? A challenge to get an actual drop. Yeah, dude, that is also a thing. Is it, can it just drop on it? Did it just drop on its own? No, impossibility. Yay, love that ship, dude. Is a quick silver or rifle any good? It is. Yeah, it's good for PvP, man. Uh, I think I've even got it on, right? I might stick it on, actually. Um... Do I have the catalyst? Not quite. Not quite. I'll try it anyway. But it's it's pretty good fun. John! Holy shit! What is good, brother? Bungie with a straight dub? I mean, yeah, I mean, it didn't, they still didn't really tell us what Pantheon is, though, so... I mean... It's a, it's a Ray Boss Run Challenge thing? I don't know. Yeah, that gives you, like, emblems and a death blow. Yeah. Fucking pushing me, bro. Okay. Opponent claims zone C. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. I'm a pussy. That crouch spamming going on. What the fuck happened to my melee? Disappeared. A bit like my skill. My god. Birthday is going to be juicy at the end of the month. Nice. What are your plans, bud? Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A captured. The flames have ignited. Let the wolves hunt. Oh my god. Can I just get a one-on-one, -on -one, bro? Honestly, I can't get a one-on-one. -on -one. 
Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Opponent claimed zone B. Zone C captured. Fucking hell, man. What is this game? Cheesiest shit ever. This she flies in and hangs me up like I'm on a fucking washing line. What is this? Oh, I might stick Hawk Moon on at point. Not on this map, though. Fucking hell. Thoughts on the news update? Ah, oh, pretty excited about it, man. To be honest, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, pretty excited for it. To be honest. Oh, they're all coming out of the church. Yeah, I saw that. Shut up! No fucking way. Zone C captured. Ah, oh, yes. The hunt is on. Yeah, I think we're also rotating from uh, from the back, but we already picked up the gap. We're at the back over there. There's one behind us. Okay. <laughs> yep. Doesn't die from a fusion rifle. Of course he doesn't. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Yeah. Did you get that? Zone, zone B captured. Opponent claims zone C. Okay, I just got destroyed by that shotgun. Probably. Cut their momentum. Keep pushing. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Dear idea. Oh. Zone B lost. The hunt is on. Okay, they just triple cut us and fight well. Dude, seriously. God damn it, it gave me gloves. Fuel for your fire. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Ah, we take it. How long have, since I played Iron Banner? I don't even know when the last time I played Iron Banner prior to now. Probably the last time it was around for maybe two games. And then, uh, yeah. I'm just not fused. That's what I've and this hardware too. Oh. I just double mail at someone and they didn't die and then they one shot me. Like. Zone C lost. Zone advantage is yours. 
Uh, I would say that. Whatever. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure and you have them. Ah! Zone A lost. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. I'm still alive. <laughs> Go at me. Rotating over to B. I'm dead. Fucking hell. This got hunted. <laughs> Mr. Stream, is it coming in besides three PvP maps and two exotic missions? So there's Pantheon, which is like this raid a thon kind of boss fight thing. Oh yeah, that sounds like a good time. Finish this. Zone A captured. The flames have ignited. Let the wolves hunt. Yeah. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't know. I don't. I think the only real good thing in Iron Banner is probably the GL, to be honest. Lethal Ban Abundance, come on. <laughs> what is this, man? On a hard -fought victory. It has Onslaught on it. God damn it. Task failed successfully, I guess? <laughs> And let's try something else. Let's try Hawk Moon, considering I just got that today. Um Rosie, you got Hawk Moon just today, huh? Oh well I bought it today. Oh, actually now I'm gonna put the battler on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean you mean to tell me that you didn't have the exotic from the best exotic mission ever created? Just shut your noise. Just shut your noise. The best, best exotic mission ever, Harbin. Oh my god, this guy. I've been to say hello, chat and job. Cheers. Yo, Velo. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. What's the update date? Uh, the 9th of April. Is when the update goes live. There's a hype train on Bungie's. I am on store forty-one. Is it? You don't get any progress. Uh, I don't think we'll do it. Yeah, no, I'm not getting any progress. It's I'm supposed sorry, to be across all three streams. Right? Yeah, but you can you can catch I, up. I, I had ninety. I had ninety percent last stream, like ninety percent on the final end of last stream, and now now it says I have forty one, and it's just not moving at all. It hasn't moved. Nice. I'm you somehow twice. I'm somehow live twice. Yeah, so I've got a, a horizontal stream going, and I've got a vertical stream going. So. It will show me it's live twice on YouTube, but depending on how you view me, depends on the experience you get, I guess. I noticed that. I was about to say, why am I why am I looking at like a phone frame from the laptop? And then I noticed, oh, what? Yeah, there's two. There's a vertical one and a horizontal one. We're always uh, screaming for all those people that are stuck at work with their phones. Yeah. You just thought I was a space wizard? I mean, I, I can be that sometimes, depending on the game mode, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, I was just, uh... Streaming on the shorts part of YouTube is a very, uh, undervalued tool. Um, it only became available, I think, last month, so we're gonna experiment with it for a little bit in the lead-up to the final shape and see how it goes. If it makes a difference. And then you also see him live on TikTok, where... Hey, I'm not live on TikTok yet. <laughs> I don't have a key for TikTok. I've, I can use their studio though. It just means I've got to recreate everything. Uh, but you can get keys through agencies and stuff, I think. Okay, you just ate that name, bro. Yeah, I don't know how that guy didn't die. I appreciate that, Carl. Thank you. Hmm. 
Yeah, the in question is heavily occupied. Yay, scout rifles. Oh. Have the advantage. Press on. Someone's using four on two. Oh boy. Fun inbound. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Rat King? I am, I am trash if I'm getting taken out by Rat King, dude, honestly. Bro, oh, I missed that guy. Damn it. It's 2 HP. Come on. Um. Oh, you cheeky. Just like crouching around corners, bro. So annoying. I'm just going to butcher that name. Amadara, thank you for the follow. It's crazy, bro. Just got destroyed. Zone advantage is yours. Double down, yeah, boy. Welcome to the world of incandescent. A bow. Okay, missed. That rat king dude is good. Yeah, he's good. Bro graduated D1 successfully. Oh my god. Zone C lost. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Yep, yeah, boy. Zone B lost. Yep, gone. Where was my shot? My gun wouldn't shoot. You're currently in Blackpool? What are you doing in Blackpool, John? You going on the big one, dude? Reaper Knight, thank you for the follow. Legend. I don't know, I don't know why I just tried to take a 1v3 with a pulse rifle, Lamal. Zone B captured. You have the advantage. Press on. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Crucible with Jarv is just like a pointless experience, honestly. I'm going to get out of here now. How did we even get a hunt? I'm going to A. I There's a guy right on the left. Okay, he just popped a super and killed no one with it. That's so sad. Sounds like me. Opponent claims zone True. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Not like me, I'm done. Zone A captured. Right, Neo. Can lie. The prophecy <laughs> pulse rifle is insane. Opponent claims zone B. Okay, that guy just fell up. Thank you for the uh, follow there. Back in Peterborough? Wait, are you in Blackpool or Peterborough? I might miss this out.
What an absolute tool. Why do I do that to myself every time, bro? Fucking waste. I'm so terrible at this game. Let's just jump up when I see everyone. Yeah, now I'm in the firing line. Thank you very much. I, I, I was wondering why were you jumping there? Like it's all of them there, you know? Ridiculous, dude. What a guy. Zone C, Captain. Opponent claims Zone B. Okay, well... If we lose this game, it's all on me. All on me. Sounds valid. <laughs> Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. <laughs> Zone B lost. Oh my god. Uh. Three minutes left. Don't be captured. Two zones are yours. That guy just destroyed me with that. Zone C lost. You got the Mida uh, Canis? Nice. I don't even know why I'm running a sniper to be over here. Oh, mate. Oh, shit. Can't win them all. Fuck off. No way, bro. Did we lose? That's crazy. <sighs> Come on, get in the blaming train, everyone. <laughs> Two crucible engrams, bro. They've they've done this on purpose, I swear, like literally no. Uh what are you done? Did a rave last Saturday in Manchester, then on Thursday you're getting three tattoos, on Friday you'll be home back in Peterborough. That is a That sounds like a heavy weekend, man. <laughs> Thorn. Quite a grip. Fair enough. Oh, how do I not have two of your jeans? Worth it. As long as you had a good time, man. Stay safe and all that. Would it good? Start betting in chat. Are we gonna get the grenade launcher now or not? Oh, mate, how many engrams have I got? I don't know. I got an exotic one. Yeah, not even, not even getting engrams. Like I just got two uh, crucible engrams, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I got crucible engrams. I've had a couple of banner ones, but nothing crazy. 29 Gansmith and Grim Song. Uh, we do this game and then we'll go back to the tower and see what loot we can get. What do you mean? What loot we can Recon, it's a good question because I have the second emblem but not the first emblem, so I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm just super confused by it all. 
You have both of them? I've well, I've obviously earned both of them if I've got the second one, but no, you, 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 you have both of them. I saw both of them on uh, your okay. uh, on your collections. They were on the same. I think they were on the same page. I saw the first one. I saw the green one for sure, and then you showed the second one. They might be on different pages, but I saw both of them in your click. It's just that for some reason yours were on a completely different page from everyone else. Yeah. Mine was on first page. Someone else said it was on their second page. I think your green one was on your <laughs> fourth page or something. It's so weird. They're not even in, in any order. I just wish all your like new emblems would just go to a place, like a new emblems, and they just they just uh, or yeah, new in or something, and then they just they're just the last ten emblems, and they just you wrote they rotate out. So if you get a new emblem, you know exactly where to go for it, right? Iron Banner. Oh, you can switch them around so the older ones are last. Or even, and the ones are on the first page. You, you don't even have to dev anything new. You've got the recently found section, which is your last 10 items or last 8 items. Just have them appear there. For some reason, they don't appear there. So just have them there, and then you can click on them from there. Easy. True, because you know I'm right. What is this triple map rotation? I don't know, mate. It's probably a shame for using Sewer's Regime, absolutely. <laughs> Am I gonna take it off? No. Zone C lost. Where is that guy going? Holy... Sick. Sick. Well, that did not work that greatly. Okay, they destroyed. I don't know what he was doing, bro. I don't know, he's just running at a straight line at me. I guess that's how I look when I run at people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shoot, I run. That is the cycle. You have the advantage. Press okay, on. last so breath. Got it. There's a bro running around with a uh, last board, man. What can I say? Zone C lost. Okay, we do have to stop them from triple fiving though, so yeah. Okay, goodbye. Surprise. Zone A lost. One broken shield. Not really helping the team with what I'm running with here, what can I say? Okay, Sick. Goodbye. Oh my god. Advantage is yours. Ah! Fuck! Hey, at least these. I don't want to jinx it, but this seems like a win. Yeah, you're going to jinx it, bro, because you know they're going to have their prime and hey, they're just. Listen, listen. It has nothing to do with the fact that I am actually a jinx, okay? <laughs> oh my god, he's got no health, bro. Unreal, dude. Where is the team, bro? Like, honestly, he's, he had no health. Raging. Zone C lost. Nope.
Why are warlock melees like that, bro? He me melees me, gets an overshield. Cool. But my melee just completely misses him. Inconsistencies, mate. It's fuming. Story. You captured zone C. Two zones are yours. Okay, that was not close. I died anyway. So. Ah, seriously. Is that the one and only solo super? <laughs> okay, there's another super on B. Yay! Let's just go into every engagement with a grenade first. So much skill. Fucking hell! Use a gun. Flames have gone cold. I don't. Oh my god! I don't have special. I don't mind the way they handle special now. But come on, man! Just make it for cum, not for normal. I hate not having special. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Honestly. Okay, that, that guy's gone. I didn't even see all of them back there. Oh my god, home B. I also have a super t Oh, bro. Malfeasance? What? Be do is coming, Guardian. Finish this. Oh, my God, I got tethered. Wait. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. Interesting. I'm telling you, this is on purpose the way it is. It's just not dropping. It just gave me two engrams, bro. And when you say not dropping, what the the weapon's not dropping? Because you can't you can't focus it unless it first drops. Oh, can't you just hand them in randomly? I does that work for weapons you haven't obtained question mark i don't know i guess we can try it but uh you can for sure you cannot focus it unless you've already gotten one unless unless bungie has done it in a way where it's placed on the ranking system and you have to gain a rank to get a guaranteed one right maybe yeah see is he? Alright, yeah, okay. Sick, right, let's see what we get. Doing anything good from this? Using Dead Man's Tail was amazing. Ah, oh, mate, Dead Man's Tail is always amazing, though, isn't it? Like, honestly. 
Oh, the drops. Oh, that's for flipping Suicide Squad. Um, let me update that. Damn, son. You should let me know. All uh, right, let's see what goodies we don't get from Lord Saladin. I don't know how many engrams I've got, to be honest. The Iron Banner is I've got four, dude. Like. Aha, no great launcher for you. <laughs> Unlock this item to purchase in your collections. Might is something you feed over time that you I don't see it anywhere on my ranking because I've already gotten it all the way to rank 16, so I can't tell you for sure. Uh, well, I just handed in four and got nothing, so. Haha, mm -hmm. <laughs> armor. Haha, useless. Swarm of the Raven, yeah, okay, so. Oh, it's just random. That's so sad. You said the first one you're going to get, you're just going to masterwork it and, <laughs> and quit? Yeah, I mean... See, that's the thing with the waveframes. They, you, you can't really them. fail on them because they will guarantee give you... Um, they will guarantee give Your you the me, second column. It's all, like, it's literally always the one you want. It's just the other perks. And I don't, does Dusk of the Boar even roll with a lot of things? So I'm not sure if... Do I have good, good necroics? Do I have good necroics yeah, this, yet? This doesn't even... Yeah, it doesn't even roll with that many perks, which means it's very likely that you might get what you want. Unless you get a bunch of repeats. I don't have any necrotics. Or do I? I've got them. They're already masterworked, right? Yeah. I just needed to be absolutely sure before I dismantled those. That's crazy. You saw a strand weapon, got it happy, but it was a fusion. Oh, rough, bro. I mean, on the plus side, I guess I'm slowly unlocking all this new Iron Banner armor, but it's not exactly uh, groundbreaking. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Gonna need someone to shut off the power. Alright guys and gals, non-binary pals, we're going to wrap it up there for today. Good stream. Into the light is going to be a massive dub and Def asks the very important question is what we're going to do first next week. So getting into the game is the first challenge. Uh, after that, I guess we'll have to play it by ear. But we're going to have to be flexible. Uh, we'll have some more content throughout the course of the week to help you get you ready for Into the Light. So keep your peepers peeled for that. And all that good stuff. Um, as always, we'd like to... Uh, I remember this. Yeah, the love. So we're gonna do that again today. So make sure to show the love over there as much as you show me. I do really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna get some food though, because I'm absolutely starving, Marvin over here. Uh, but yeah, have an awesome evening. Stay awesome. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all again very soon.